All right, let me let me fetch up the game. If I can. Uh, all right. Let me see here. Um, Forgotten City. All right. I'm gonna give it Fisher Fishnets. <laughs> A fishnet. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, there you go. It's appearing. I was like a little bit scared for a second. There you go. So I am apparently i don't okay i don't know the backstory really of this game did it really like did it start as a as a mod for skyrim is that really what happened as you'll discover is full of intrigue and plot twists please give your audience a spoiler warning before sharing content from be from beyond the white hallway so that Interested players can fully enjoy the experience for themselves if they wish so. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. Um, hands enabled, I guess. Normal. Subtitle background. I, I guess it's fine. Um. Everything is fine, I guess. Uh, Alright, we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm excited. I've played Skyrim before, I've never heard of that particular mod. Three people over four years? Oh my gosh! Multiple endings. Not... Conversation exploration. Fate of the city is in your hands. Oh, okay. Alright, well, you've been warned. It, it's gonna get very spoilery from now on. Uh, as if it's not like something duh. As if it's not a duh moment. <laughs> You're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Oh my gosh, is it just me or the the f faces? The, the 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 people the characters they oh my gosh i don't know there's something a little bit weird about them their eyes oh i can be either a man or a woman um i always play as a woman but let's be real being a woman in ancient rome sucks ass absolutely sucks ass so but it, it's a video game who cares oh um this is this is more my skin tone um i'm gonna call myself tina well it's nice to meet you and i'm sorry to pry but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I was on a lazy river and I got, you know, carried away. So yeah, does anybody, do you know what's the, what's the shortest cut to go back to the lazy river? <laughs> I 
you were hoping you would forget what happens by the time you play it. You're hoping. Oh, you were ho hoping. Maybe you'll forget about it. Who knows? <laughs> um. Oh, oh, this is this is like my backstory. Amnesia, fugitive, soldier, or archaeologist. I ah. Uh, years of studying history give you your occasional insights on the into the ancient world world. I like that. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. Why would he I? He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping... You wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? I mean, if, you know what? You know what? She did save me, so I'm gonna go look, I guess. The Trader Joe's Boba is good? Oh my gosh, now... Now I need to know. I need to taste it. Is the volume of the game okay? I can I can increase it increase it if it's or decrease it if needed. Is that one of these things that that it's like powder? You mix the powder with the liquid. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just what do you want to know? Okay. Um, who's He's half? the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Sounds is good on your end. Queen said sh she heard about it on TikTok. It's new? Ooh! Okay! Okay! Awesome! Unfortunately, don't have a Trader Joe's next to me. But there's a Trader Joe where Fisher lives. But I, I'm not... I don't think he's gonna smuggle... I, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna smuggle bubble tea from Trader Joe's. Uh... <laughs> Past the past the border, it, it's not gonna happen. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels tell like me I've about spent yourself. My whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Oh my gosh! If this were a dating, um, if, if this were a date, would you be like, hmm, yes, please tell me more, or would you try to get away from here? <laughs> Smuggle it for you. Oh my gosh. He. When I. I. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even like sending me stuff by mail. Like going to the post office and sending me stuff. He doesn't even like to do that. <laughs> so he's definitely not gonna smuggle anything for me. Pass, like by car. You're never going to tell me your name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Uh, why don't you want to tell me? All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. That's it? That's it? She doesn't want to say her name because her name is Karen. Oh my gosh, the memes destroyed it. The memes destroyed destroyed Karen's. 
Oh my gosh. To the point where they don't even want to introduce them anymore, themselves anymore. They're like, uh, all right, my name is Karen. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's a meme. It's fine. Look, if you really want to know all the tragic details, perhaps I can fill you in after you find Al. Yeah, it's 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 her name is Karen. So what? Okay. <laughs> the people who make fun of the of the name or or Karen or bring up the memes when someone introduced themselves as Karen. Those people are very are to be honest, they are very um, immature. So that's on them. That's on them. They are the ones are immature. You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Oh, not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... Have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Yeah, I think it's lost its intending meaning. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, when it comes to the Karen me meme, it started off as um, as some like s calling out someone for like being very entitled. So basically, white women who are very entitled, uh, they usually are. Um, or harassing like uh, customer service uh, workers in shops, stuff like that. Just showing a lot of entitlement. So it started off as that, but then it kind of transformed into like white privilege, as in uh, them um, harassing people of color, just racism, stuff like that. It, it, it the, the umbrella just keep expanding now anything can like go into the Karen umbrella and honestly though honestly I'm like at this point I'm so done I'm so done with this honestly Like Karen is is like an actually really pretty name, and it was fine when you know you know it was fine when people were like making fun of care like uh calling the, them Karens like the the women who were like really much deserved it they were like very much being dickheads towards staff, but I but. To, at this point, like people don't even want to call their their kids Karen anymore, or people are like are feel ashamed when they say that their name is Karen. It's like it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. It's not a slur. It is absolutely not a slur. AI is L is a pre priceless ancient artifact. Ooh, it's it just happened to be Karen because it's like it was like one of the most common like names for white women. There was Becky, I think, and Susan. I think that that's why it, 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 it took Karen took on because it was like the most common name. So. Uh, all right. I'm going for the. <laughs> all right, I'm in. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Okay, so ma Mama, you played this before it, in this game. Or am I ever gonna bang? Are we gonna bang in this game? 
or it's a, a sexless game. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, that. All right, all right. This I'll use it. Oh. So those are the ruins. So this is in modern, modern Italy, right? Because she's wearing, she's wearing modern clothes. I was just saying in in the uh, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey or normal Assassin's Creed, you can you can bang. So I was thinking, hey, we're going to the past. Can we bang? <gasps> Backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable here, but still, seems strange that Al left it behind. Wait, can I take it? What? I can't take it? That doesn't make any sense. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads... Step forth and be judged. You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. Fendi! Sugar, we're glad you're here. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Oh, maybe I... The underground city have remained a secret for all this time. Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's. Is this some kind of back. Atlantis shit? If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation, or a warning. Al Worth. Oh my gosh, your theory—you can't bang in the city. That's why it became forgotten. You're waking up. Point! Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Find the entrance to the secret city. So no technological advancement happened in here? Is that what they're saying? It's like just stuck in time? Uh, who am I? My name is Tina. I'm a Twitch streamer. Who are you? And please tell me your name is not Karen, okay? <laughs> Young Roman woman in a pose of lamentation. Oh. An ancient Roman mosaic depicting a godlike figure turning a man into gold. Oh, is that uh, the story of... Oh my gosh, what is it called again? There's a myth about the gauntlet that turns things into gold. I don't remember what it is called. Midas, yes. Is it the Tell Midas? Oh, golden statue. I will take this. I, I will carry this. Because I need money. I need money. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> oh, hi. Hmm. A young Roman woman. Uh, it looks like she was begging for her life. Okay, so here's the thing about... Oh. Oh. Can I carry it? If I go to the Trader Joe's and I present this on the counter and I'm like, I want this much 
Bubba T for this golden statue, what would they say? <laughs> would they be like, oh, of course I we will take it? Or would they uh, be like, go to the fucking bank? Free Boba for life. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Oh, you you bought the Lotus Root? Nice. Oh, now I want Lotus Roots. Up, uh, meet me out back after my shit's over. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I was gonna say about this is that So this woman, you can see her arms uh, You can see her necks and stuff like that In reality, in ancient Rome, they were covered COVERED! It was very... Uh, any res respectable woman would cover themselves Like, if we see your skin, then you're not a respectable woman. Oh, I can quick save. Like that. The freaking lonely assassins from Doctor Who. Oh my gosh. If a potato was crispy. Oh! Yeah, um, I also had trouble um, describing what the uh, lotus root tastes like. It's one of these things, I have no idea how to tell you. It's... It's not quite a potato, but it, it, it is shaped like a potato. Showing me? No, 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 no. They wouldn't dare. The women back then, it's like, um, like, it depends. It depends. There are some marriages where the woman w didn't belong to her husband, but there are some marriages where she had more liberties, but she still kind of like belongs to a male relative so maybe a, a, a the father or or the brother oh get out oh ah go 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 ah what are you looking what was he looking at oh that's a that's a city all right in real uh in ancient Rome, the cities were pretty nar narrow and you couldn't even use a vehicle during the day because it was so crowded. Like, the people were like, were like really proximity, like trying to get in the streets. And very, very crowded uh, streets. So, yeah, you... If you had to use a vehicle, you had to do it during the night. And it smelled like shit. It smelled gross. So, however it's depicted in the video games, I can assure you, the real thing, it, ta it smells like caca. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse. She'll suffer the same fate I did. I spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here, there are only two options. Death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better Recipes end it all out. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal.
A gold statue of an old man wearing modern clothes. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Damn. He was unworthy. The flavor is subtle. Mostly comes from the sauce. Yeah, someday you should definitely try the lotus root. Preferably in soup. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm trying to carry it, but it wouldn't let me. Hmm. So this is the point where I'm like, why did I have to go through with this? Why did I have to do whatever? That woman wanted. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. Oh, interesting. The this remains the remains of a human. Whoever it was died a long, long time ago. Hmm. Oh! Is this the... Interesting! Finding Nemo! Oh! Quest to journal. Inventory at any time. Thank you so much for the lurk, Ella! I appreciate that! We can take photos in here? Awesome! Oh, they're they're giving me all of the. They're giving me all of the. The controls right now. <laughs> oh. Oh hi. Okay, so as I am a woman. They're probably gonna tell me to cover myself and also point me towards the next brothel so I can become a prostitute. That's pretty much, pretty sure that's how it's gonna go. Um, uh, hello! Uh, salve friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Um, haven't seen it. I've just come from the future. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head? <sighs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. That's not. Oh my gosh. That is not ancient Rome. Um, thanks, I guess. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but. You... you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's... well... It's kind of horrific, but our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? It's Mr. Clean! It, uh, I, was gonna, I was gonna say, oh hey, it's Vandy, but I was like, I feel like we've driven that joke to the ground. We've we've really driven that joke to the ground, so we're gonna have to move on. <laughs> All right, lead the way. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here, but as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Oh, he's also from up there. Only three of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in if you're not careful. 
Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Darius? <gasps> Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old bore won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. And I oh. Oh wait, can I talk to her? Oh, okay. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's uh it's not my place to say. Oh. Down on your right is our farm where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since. Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm sorry, Vandy. Right I cannot the stop them. <laughs> it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live, so don't expect a warm welcome. Hilarious. You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the village. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the Magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go oh, on. not the farm! You go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Oh my gosh, I... Not the farm. Hold on a sec. I'm really worried about my my man here, Mr. Clean. I'm really worried about him because agricultural the agricultural part of Rome is um, most of the people who work at the farms, the um, on the fields, most of them are slaves, and let's just say that they are absolutely not treated well over there um when at night instead of like sleeping in beds in quarters they are chained in some prison and they they they, they sleep in some kind of prison and they are chained while they're sleeping that that's that's the life of a um, of a slave who works on farms in ancient Rome. So yeah, I'm really scared for this guy. I expect the magistrate wants to brief you about the golden rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. All right. Follow me. I don't have any reason to say no. Stand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter oh, don't mind wrong. me, I just live here. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Oh, but I want to talk to her. One fresh out of the baths, I take it. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? Um, what a bay? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? 
I'm not from around really? here. I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Uh, what a, because I, I want to know if you want to bang. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. This is exactly how the Romans back then would talk. Absolutely. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Uh... <laughs> Sentius, Sentia, Sentia. Why are your names all so similar? Oh my gosh. You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us. Like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, in reality, it's true that women back then, there were no like proper female names. They were basically named after their their relatives, the father. So, in that aspect, they kind of they got it. They got it. What? Why can't they add more details? <laughs> One passive aggressive stranger. Ask a sassy question. Get a feminist history lesson. Oh my gosh. <sighs> It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening I'll see together, what I can do. And I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms. I went to sleep. And when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret. Even from me. Why is that? Because our father had plans to marry her oh, off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Is, is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Is it bomb man? <laughs> You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's disappearance. Why? Uh, because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa, wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. I think you know s Oh! Just an observation. If you must know, I'm here because my father has forbidden me from leaving the villa. I couldn't bear to lose you too, he says. As if he loves me, and not because he needs at least one daughter he can trade off. That's, uh... That's very grim. So you'll help me find her? Alright, I'll do it. Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. I'll see what I can Thanks. do. I'd appreciate it. Uh... What do you know? You know, some about people rule? say it's the creation of an all-seeing God who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent God would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Hmm. Uh, fair Did you pressure. hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, which god are you talking about? There are a, a lot of gods in the Roman pantheon. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about Pluto? Is that who you're talking about? <laughs> He's the main one. Uh, well, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. It's Either so that, weird. Or, like people are saying. 
It really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. It's so weird, like, you have a game and it's based on ancient Rome, but they only, they, they are talking about a singular god. Well, what about, what about the, the Pathian gods like Pluto? And etc. I I I don't know the the equivalent. I only know that Zeus's Roman name is Pluto. Uh, the rest I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I suppose we Jupiter, know. Saturn, like the, you know the the planets, the planets. Of course. What have you discovered? Oh, I think yeah, yes, I'll ask you. This. Please do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna take a short break, um, cause I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right. Okay, I should probably go and see that magistrate. Oh, oh God. Okay, that scared me. 
I don't want this game to crash. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Tina. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar. Athe Did he say Equitia. Athena? Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Okay, hold on. I know that this game is not made to be like historically accurate, but couldn't the devs dev like just stop for a second and be like, "Oh, wait, hold on. These people are Roman, so they they should be using the Roman names for the gods and not Athena, which is uh, the Greek the Greek name." Like I don't, I, I don't know. I'm just, I, I, I'm getting hung up too much on details. It's, <laughs> it's beautiful. Indy. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought oh. together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time. Not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? I'm uh, okay. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling that these people are. They're. Okay, they're not Christian per se, but like they're talking about sin. And it's like, I thought you were, I thought y'all were Romans. Like, literally, your gods. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the Greek name because I'm not familiar with the, with the, okay, well, it's the name of the planet. It's Pluto, Neptune, Mars, all, everybody. Those gods are like assholes. As in, they are absolutely insane. Sin, there's there's no such thing as a sin in a Roman or Greek pantheon. So, uh, I mean, if there is, like the gods are the first one to break it. <laughs> so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how how this works here, but okay. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun almost up and now it seems that day is finally here all that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule why else would Proserpina send you now unless you and I can stop them our doom is assured I know that's a lot to take in and you look like you have questions please ask away okay so if I understand but like, none of these people are native to this ancient city. They are, are they? Like, 
Okay, so we ha you have a forgotten city, a city that is hidden from the world. How? And it's implied that a lot of the people came in from the portal and stayed there. What about, but like, how? Are there like a lot of people who were there from the beginning? I'm not sure. An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to Where's Rave? leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before Wait, seen. what? And we must None of that? The peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Wait, um, wait, hold on. Okay, I didn't I didn't catch that. Does that mean we cannot lie is lying a sin? Well so what's the answer here? I I didn't get it. <laughs> what is legal isn't always moral. And many of our law your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Yes, um so in ancient Rome if you if a woman gets raped then you're automatically automatically uh, uh, it all automatically says that the woman is partly responsible uh, it doesn't matter the circumstances the woman is always partly responsible there is a story about about um oh my gosh i don't remember her name but there, there's this woman who uh, she got raped by the son of a of a king and she told her husband she's made her husband promise to to avenge her and when he promised that she then finally told him what happened and and then she stopped herself uh, but the the reason why she did that is it's like it's an honor thing and honestly uh, the whole thing about to be fair to be fair though those are like standards back then i try not to judge too much about not to judge too much w what's considered good by or whatever like according to us because they, they they were an ancient civilization however the whole thing about oh yeah it, it's it's a sinless community i'm like you're gonna have to be more specific than that <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna be oh i'm gonna barbaric. do this because i'm not sure barbaric. what are you talking about the empire is the most civilizing force in the known world Rome is a beacon of light. I believe him when he says he believes that. Yes, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Uh, 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 treason, murder, assault, and rape, uh, 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 as well as uh, 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 arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. He said a lot of stuff. He said a lot of stuff. And honestly, 
the whole thing about like everybody being treated the same regardless of of the skin tone or like sexual orientation and all of that in part in here's the thing here's the thing in a technical term he's not wrong about it but at the same time every if you're not roman if you are someone who got uh, like a goal or something and you you've been conquered by rome let's say you're like you are you're the conquered then you are considered way less than a roman you are probably gonna end up most probably a slave and in the in the case of ancient rome uh, the Romans thought that owning slaves was a birthright. It was completely normal. And some Romans even had up to 400 slaves. And in, their, in this case, yes, anybody can become a slave regardless of the skin tone. It could be like so, uh, a goal, from, uh, uh, a person from goal, could be someone from, from Egypt or... or or Africa, it, anywhere, from anywhere. If you've been conquered by Rome, then you're most likely gonna become a slave. Uh, it, it, that's that's how uh, how it, it it is, and it and the Romans. I do believe that when he says that, when he says, "Oh yeah, we we have this whole civilization under one law and everything's fine all that i believe he believes in that the ancient romans back in the day they believed that, that it was their duty to conquer the whole world and have it under roman law um it was their like have everybody the same the same language the same laws everything uh, and they saw themselves as the peacemakers. <laughs> um, and to be fair, if you judge every every ancient civilizations according to our own our own uh, what we consider barbaric and non-barbaric, then pretty much any kind type of ancient civilization is gonna really fall short. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do this one. Of course, but with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities, and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Yeah, and here's the thing. Uh, women back then, um, okay, so, um, ro it, it is preferable to be a roman woman than a, a greek woman uh if you were a, a a woman in ancient rome you'll uh you'll have more rights than a greek woman um you can go outside more often you still have to be dressed from head to toe and you still have to be uh, accompanied by one or more slave you cannot never be by yourself outside and uh, uh but you can still go out more often than a greek woman and also if your husband is having people join you join you like uh, if if the husband is having friends over at the house and they are all at the table uh, a Roman wife is able to sit beside her husband at the table instead of being cooped up in an in a, a another area of the house with uh, with the female slaves. So I will say this: or ancient Rome had more. It, being a Roman woman is a, better than being a Greek woman. I will give them that. On occasion, but our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory, or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Yeah, um, the Romans are known to be very 
blood bloodthirsty not bloodthirsty but they are not afraid of the blo blood they are not afraid of the gore uh, it's hard to put yourself in their mindset like what how they can how they are able to enjoy something like like the Colosseum, the gladiator gladiators and everything but it, it's hard to imagine but in it was pretty normal and punishment corporal punishment was very much normal back in the day it, it's it's very they, they were not afraid to do corporal punishment at all and they came up with the one of the most fucked up way of killing of torturing someone which is crucifixation they're the ones who came up with it <laughs> of course what else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed and besides there are laws for their protection as well um uh Oh my gosh. Okay, so for their protection, um not exactly, not exactly. It depends on on what kind of slave you are. It depends on where you work and all of that. If you have the more skills you have, the less likely uh, you're going to be mistreated by your by the the your owner the the less likely but but the uh but you can definitely get very mistreated by your owner and to the they could literally kill you it's in their rights they own you and there are no protect lost for the your protection you can earn your freedom in ancient ancient rome you can be a slave and earn your freedom work for it you're still getting some money and you still can have like a talk with your owner and be like hey so can i can i be free now and he can give you your freedom it's it's a very possible thing however i wouldn't say the slaves are protected i wouldn't say that <laughs> uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of rome hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Oh wait, are they blaming, are they blaming the fire that happened during Nero, uh, the Emperor Nero's? What? I wasn't aware of that, hold on. I wasn't aware of that. The big giant fire that happened during Emperor Nero's reign. Are they really blaming it on the Christians? I know that the fire happened and Nero rebuilt the, the city and but made the streets wider in order to prevent something from happening, something like that to happen again, but I, I wasn't aware that it was put on the Christians. <laughs> Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Uh... Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Uh. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Yeah. Two thousand years? 
That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Uh, y'all all turned into golden statues. Oh wait, if I say that, he's gonna he's gonna get even more stricter. I'm gonna lie. Lie all you want, but I see the truth in your eyes. Oh well. All I can tell oh, is, is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did, you did see rema human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I'll do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. Oh, today's... The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Fair enough. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Uh, how do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you. I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me, of all people? Fair point. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Uh, do you think you could be related to Sentia's spirits? Ah, so you know about that already. It's a devastating loss, of course, but that was over three weeks ago, and whatever happened to her, it didn't break the golden rule, so I don't think it's connected with our imminent demise. Still, if you happen to find her and return her to me, I would be eternally grateful. Fair enough. Uh, if I do this, will you, be, is, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Proserpina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? Uh, sure, why not? Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden? Doesn't seem like I have more no, choice. I don't suppose you do. But I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice, you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation. Good point, I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city. How does he know now that someone's about to break the golden rule? Win their trust. 
I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so this was a very long conversation that I that I did not help because I started to I started to talk <laughs> and I, <laughs> so I did not help. But we're now we're 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 in we're in. I hope that my my long rant about ancient Rome. I I, I hope that people liked it. <laughs> I didn't mean to take in like f five hours of the time just ranting about it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure stealing is like breaking the golden rule, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't uh, this uh, this thing I don't understand is like what is was all good conversation ah oh, thanks this uh, here's the thing I don't understand what's again what did he say the goal breaking the golden rule is and how does he know someone's about to break it that's the thing I didn't I didn't catch Sentia made you better Optimus Maximus continue to protect and guide you thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant i promise we'll wear it always i feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Sentia as my sister i sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month but if you can just show them the strong and dependable man i know you will, i know you to be you will be reelected. i'm sure of it okay oh Oh, explore gratitude to. S oh, Sentries adopted her? That's cool. Five hours of no stop learning. <laughs> I. I really. I was really hard on this game. I, I know. The, the people who made this game are not historians. They're probably not history buffs as well, so. Helping I people's what I'm all about. Oh my gosh, the real, the real Mr. Freeze. Welcome. Sugar, we're glad you're here. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. How are you doing? What brings you here? You just missed. You just missed a whole. Your best behavior, I trust. Uh, you just missed a whole like talk about ancient Rome. So, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mo these carrots are purple, as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, while he was like talking about how ancient Rome was great, and usually usually I try not to judge an ancient culture based on our own standards. Usually I don't do that, but I did it in this game for fun. So we can see how it justifies some of the stuff like women having less like re having no rights compared to the men or slave ownership stuff like that and i can see the devs they 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 did some surface level surface level research but they, uh, uh, i don't know i don't know like for example when he said that uh, there were laws to pr protect slaves it's absolutely not true 
They got that wrong. They got that wrong. Thea is proof of a degenerate mind. Oh. S uh, Sentia? But where's the Sentias? Oh, but believes everyone is entitled to their secrets. Dear diary, today my father suggested I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we will deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, I sh of course, I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost secrets. I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but do not, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets, Cynthia. <laughs> Pull polished into a rudimentary mirror, which has been applied, used to apply makeup. Uh, ooh, the jar. There's some powder for makeup. Hmm, interesting. Uh. Sculpture of Ares, the Greek god of war, known to the Romans as Mars. Another thing that I'm like, I'm like, why? Um, the because the characters refers to the gods as by their Greek names, and I'm like, oh, why didn't you call Zeus like Pluto, or why did you call Ares Mars, like an actual Roman, you know? But. But then I guess a video game. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Ooh. Is that... Is that the sister's room? Oh. Um, is there anything here that we can look at? I, 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 I'm fearing I, I'm missing something. No, no, no. Uh, I, I don't know if, if I, can I open? No, I cannot open these vials. Hmm. Oh! Writes that she has decided to escape and nobody saw that before? They just... or they just left it there. Sentia to Sentius and Sentia. May Clem Clementia give you the strength to forgive me. I'm sorry to have to leave you this way, but I found a way to escape and I must take it. I hope we meet again someday. Damn, rude. She left him without, with her, without her sister. Rude. <laughs> On your best behavior, I trust. What have you discovered? I uh, found a letter in her room, which mentioned her pla plan to escape. What? Really? I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw that. I wonder how I could have missed it. Strange, but well done, I suppose. But it's odd. It was only a few months ago that Santilla's friend Yulia let slip she was planning an escape of her own. And yet, Yulia's still here. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh... Go talk to Julia. Ave. Ooh, it's actually a it's a pretty cool environment. Oh. What were you two talking about? Sorry, what? Don't play dumb. I saw you. 
Having a shady little chat with old man Sentius up on his balcony. If he's making a last ditch effort to pick up votes by talking to a woman, he's even more senile than I thought. Everyone knows women can't vote. Good to know. Uh, thanks for the warm welcome. I'll be going now. Women indeed cannot vote, but they can get. They they could get uh, uh, involved in politics. They can they can um uh, vouch for politicians. Be like, oh, I support this guy, although they could they cannot vote. Uh, this might be climbable if only they could support my weight. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh, I see. Oh, probably should go there. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna enter. Wait. Is that even the right house? I'm not even sure it's the right house. Is there a map? Tell Sentius you suspect Sentia. Oh. Um. Figure out what's this stressing Lucretia. Figure out what happened to Sentia. Hmm. Anyway. Uh. Oh. What about this? Hey. You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Uh. Yes, why? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Uh, why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body. Sprawled out on the ground, and hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw... A creature. Not a corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Ooh. Wouldn't that have broken the golden rule? If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. What did you well, do? any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Um. Uh, mm, I'll still go there. Weapon? Well, it's your funeral. Hmm, that makes sense. I don't have a weapon. Huh. Oh, Equitia? Hmm, I don't think I've met this person before. Um... Why are you here? What? Are these statues talking to me? That's pretty neat. I'm just exploring! That's all. Octavia? Oh. 
Anonymous, anonymous friend to Octavia, may the Lord bless you and keep you. I'm sorry, I could not risk discussing this with you in person, but I, if I'm right, then you're a believer like me. You may not be able to worship openly here, but know that you're not alone. If you ever feel like you need somewhere to pray, there's a special place waiting for you deep in the caves behind the theater. Turn right at the first floor and get at the second. Oh! Wait, is Octavia like practicing uh, Christianity maybe? Uh oh. Well, is it like shouldn't, sh shouldn't that be breaking the golden rule? I don't know. Ooh, I, again, I don't know what is considered breaking the golden rule and what is not. I'm so confused. This game confuses me. I'm not trying to. I'm not stealing because that, that like everybody would turn to go, golden statues, right? So this is definitely not Julia's villa. This has to be her villa, but like it's it's locked. Mm. Mm. Hmm. If only was also there's a map, but there's no map. It tells me wh what is where. I can hear you. What do you want? Oh, hey. Hi! Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. Uh, what's the story? It's top long. Got to stay sharp, but. Uh, family's from Seleucia and Tibris. Babylon province. But I've been Roman a long time now. Even joined the legions. The sixth. The one they call Ironclads. How did you end up here? Same way as everyone else. Or still wearing your legionary armor? Because we're all in great danger. Is it not obvious? Why don't you have a weapon? Mm, magistrate made me toss it in a chasm. Stupid. Going to have to improvise now. Not much of a talker, are you? If you were dealing with what I am, you wouldn't be either. What are you dealing with? None of your business. In Troy to hit some coming shula. If we have to. Do you know a way out of if here? I did. Do you think we'd be having this conversation? What do you think about the Golden Rule? Mm. I'll tell you this much. I hate the fact that my survival depends on the common sense of other people. Oh, I know the feeling. I've lived through a pandemic. The death of this game. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, all these people oh my gosh. just bumble along like nothing's wrong. While we're one bad decision away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits, it's everyone for themselves. You've been warned. What do you think it, who is coming? I don't know. But did you ever get the feeling some of these statues are watching us when we're not looking? So like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. Uh, you're of right. Of course I am. Why, who are you going to work for? Meliolus. I'm not sure I trust Sentius. Couldn't even protect his daughter in a city without sin. How's he going to protect us? Um. I don't care. Let's talk about Sorry. something else. Yeah, I don't what care who I... you vote for. I don't care who you vote for. Um. Oh. Oh, 
wait for a market it's very empty what's happening here where's everybody the market place should be absolutely full by now resin extremely valuable ancient roman remedy for various afflictions oh someone is looking at me so i won't this is this is cute Uh. Oh, so they are not the ones talking. Hi. Give me a moment. Sorry, I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia. She was a good woman. Well, they implied that the the they said that the the main character went through a pandemic, so <laughs> Oh wait. You lost a patient and a dear friend Julia. Oh no. What happened? She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of silphium. A rare plant which is perfect for this sort of Oh, plant. I saw that! And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here, with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. Wow. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed Bruh. to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Is there something I can do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Revenge! Get me that Sylphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day, or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetic comfort and scratching his eyes out. Damn. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, what's the story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. Another I'm person tired disappeared? And out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. How do you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke. And the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. Sorry to hear that. It's alright. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. 
And while there's no Big shortage mood. of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Why are you working at, oh, out of a shrine? This shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Tell me about that, V. Well, yeah. she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good, too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Uh, go on. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Oh, it's the one with the vines. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, I suppose. Uh, do you need no way out of here? I wish. Some people here need proper medical care, not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. Damn. What do you think about the golden rule? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. Keep hearing the statues whisper, is that normal? Oh no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking oh, to her. The, other, the, the nurse, but right? that was Nivia, and uh, she went a little mad. Uh. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was up until she suddenly this oh, okay. and then she's but I one of his big I just Steel Thanks. Can we talk about Sure. Figure? What do you want to know? Did you hear say her say anything about escaping? Uh how did you know that? Yes, she did mutter something about the only way out. A few times, but nothing more than that, I'm afraid. Do you feel she was a poison or was it self-inflicted? Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule and... So, maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Do you know who what poisoned her? Hemlock, I believe. Oh. Is there any reason why she might have wanted to die? I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas' villa. And they are quite secretive. Gladly. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Uh, rest in peace, Julia. Or rest in peace. Uh, Herbra? Dry the ground substances. Oh, the statue of Apollo. Oh, the dick. Dick. <laughs> Roman, uh, Greek god of disease and healing, among other things. Among other things. 
May Apollo keep you safe. Um Where's everybody though? Oh, there are also golden statues here. Yeah, I know that that's because you turned it into, into gold. A shopping list? Let's think of this year's plans to buy once he's escaped. Oh, villa on the Aventine Rome, two horse chariots, seat on the Senate, four horse chariot, villa on the Bay of Le Naples. 10 horse chariot, 12 slave girls, pale and plump. I, uh, sir, I have news for you, news flash. Minerva. Hmm. Is that, is that supposed to be Athena? Well, you cannot own slaves anymore in modern time. Well, well, you know. Unless you have a prison. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, I see someone there. Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the bluff and I think whatever is in there, it has to be important. Ah, a new face. Salve, and welcome to a little community. My name's impossible to pronounce for most people, so you can just call me Virgil. You arrived on a sad day, friend. What with Julia's death? I wish we could have met under better circumstances. Uh, what's your story? Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. Oh, it's Tom Builder all but over again. Probably don't Tom Builder. To about the ingenious architecture or mysterious history of this place. Oh, but I want to know. Oh, I'm glad you asked. Some of these shrines were constructed hundreds of years ago. Which means Romans have been arriving here for at least that long. But there's one thing that puzzles me. The oldest shrine in this avenue isn't Roman at all. It's Greek. Oh. <laughs> Is it common for Romans to copy Greek art and architecture? Well, yes. That could be the reason. Or it could mean... That there were Greeks living and worshipping here before the Romans arrived. Which begs the interesting question, who really built this place? And could it be far older than any of us imagine? If only there was a way we could talk to the people who came here before us. The stories they could tell. Uh, what about the architecture? Gladly. Personally. My favorite thing about this place is the aqueducts, those series of adjoining arches. They're an ingenious feat of Roman engineering, with a very practical purpose. They take fresh water coming from outside the city and distribute it all across the chasm. It's funneled below the palace and into a cistern beneath the great temple. Some of it flows down into another cistern beneath the villas, and the rest is funneled to the shrine of Proserpina, where it fills the lake and allows us to fish and farm. If they bring water to the sea, could we use it them to escape? Hey, not so loud. Just talking about that could anger the gods for all we know. I'm not saying it's impossible. But you'd have to find a way inside somehow. Just please try to be a bit more discreet about it. Mm, tell me about the temple on the bluff. You mean the great temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, 
Usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. That's very interesting. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god. But it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the golden rule? Unless somebody figures out a way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Mm, okay. Of course. There's a lot of talking in this game. Oh my gosh. If I talk to everybody in this game, it could take forever. You wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I'd tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the golden rule. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. Nothing new to me, anyway. Uh, fair enough. What do you think about the golden rule? Some people say it's divine. The work of a god. But I'm not so sure. It just seems so... flawed to me. Like it's distinctly... human. I mean, once you've been here long enough, you'll notice people doing things that just seem so wrong to you. But this so-called god doesn't seem to care. Which means one of two things. Either you don't know the difference between right and wrong, or this unknown god doesn't. And I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Do you? Um, I think so, yeah. Good. Then I hope you'll agree that there are only two ways of dealing with unfair rulers. The first is to leave. The second is to remove the ruler from power. And it seems leaving may not be an option. Oh, Virgil, are you... S oh, that's dangerous talk. How do you remove a god from power? Good question. It's best if I say no more, but... Give it some thought. I like where this is going. He's a he has some ideas. We just need to we just need to this to to figure out like a little bit more into details what's his plans, but like he's a he, he he's going some places. You notice the graffiti. Why does someone think you're a sinner? Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. Somebody just has a problem with my Preference for male company. I and see. When you grow up in the north as I did in the city of Novio Magos, you expect a bit of hostility. The Batavi are not known for their tolerance. I saw enough friends killed or driven away to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for, what was it, nearly ten years? watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground, halfway across the known world with an assumed name, my openness didn't go down well among the enlightened folk of the Batavi. I'm sorry to hear that. Nice of you to say, but not necessary. In any case, the Romans are far more accepting and among them, I get to be who I am. Or at least I thought that was the case. It seems I was wrong. Do you know who's writing the graffiti? Uh, it's not just graffiti. I have quite a collection of handwritten notes too. The strange thing is, I keep my personal affairs to myself. I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. So I'm not sure what I could have done to upset this person. You don't have to do anything to, to guess, upset anybody. I'd say it's probably one of those cultists. People will be will, people will be offended no matter what you do. Strange bunch. They insist there's only one God, and that He considers my nature a sin. Can you believe that? If there are any of them here, oh. they won't admit it. 
Not since they supposedly burned down half of Rome last year and went into hiding. All I know is if these threats keep escalating, eventually my secret admirer is going to cross a line and break the golden rule. Uh, let me look into what? it for you. Really? I... I didn't expect that. But thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet someone so selfless. I'm glad you arrived when you did. I'd start by figuring out who the cultists are. Or maybe ask around among the merchants here. Someone who Ooh, the which merchants the though? There's nobody. I have seen something. But if you find them, please don't hurt or humiliate them. I suspect they're just confused. Uh, I'll see what I can do. What are you going to well, vote for? Maliolis is talking about loosening some of the restrictions in this place. And while it's all a bit vague, at least he has a vision. Uh, no, I don't wanna. Oh my gosh. My vote isn't for sale, if that's what you're asking. Nice to talk to you. I was. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. Like, I don't care who you vote for. Like, literally. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, the shovel. Another shovel. I won't be able to use all any of that stuff. Ooh. Let me examine that. Virgil, they may not see you, but yet, but I want you to know I see you. Okay, okay. Virgil, I know who you are and what you want. Turn away from from this path before we all suffer for 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 your sins. Uh, there's nothing more loving than a Christian love. Virgil, do you really want to be responsible for the sin that destroys us all? Um, Make sure you stay away from that empty shrine. It's going to collapse at any moment. Eh, I'm not worried. Ah, a fellow traveler from a faraway land. Greetings, I'm Georgius. It gladdens me to see another foreigner in our midst. We must stick together, you and I. And I must say, my sartorial friend, your clothing is most extraordinary. Leather boots in place of sandals, trousers with precise stitching, and such a curious design. I have traveled distant trade routes from the markets of Damascus to the farms of India, and never have I seen anyone dressed quite like you. Tell me, I must know. From which exotic part of the world do you hail? Um, my nation doesn't exist yet. Is this a riddle, or perhaps you mean to say you feel like you are ahead of your time? I feel the same way. Another reason for us to stick together. We will have much time here to get to know one another. But for now, do you require assistance? I know you do not require clothing, so information perhaps? Uh, what's your story? My story? How kind of you to ask. I am a tailor and I run the humble shop in the forum. Why set up a tailor shop here? You mean to say, with all the turmoil and terror of the golden rule and so few customers, why bother setting shop at all? Uh, we are more or less. Tell you, it is precisely because of the golden rule that I wish to remind my friends of the importance of looking one's best. I say, the more of our customs we preserve down here, the more we can preserve a semblance of normality, the better our chances of keeping our heads. Don't you agree? I suppose so. Oh, and there is another reason too. If we all end up as golden statues for future generations to marvel at, I don't know about you, but I would like to look my That's best. That's a good point. <laughs> I like him. How do you end up here? A good question. A very good question indeed. And I would be happy to tell you if only I could remember it clearly myself. Why don't you tell me what you do remember? Hmm. I remember I had just been to Rome to sell an extraordinary selection of wares. And drawing. 
Being in coin, I decided to celebrate my success. I rented a prestigious villa by the Tiber, invited over a few select friends, and we began making our way through some of the most exquisite wine money could buy. Quite a lot of it, in fact. Now, I have had visions and awoken in strange places before. I have even found myself naked in the desert sands more than once, but none of that compares to this. This time, I remember people screaming, then falling into a void as empty as time before creation, gasping for air, and then nothing. When I regained my faculties, I was lying naked by the banks of the Tiber, gods know how many miles from my villa. So, so you floated down the Tiber? Indeed. I'm lucky I was carrying a little extra weight. <laughs> I believe it kept me afloat. In any case, it seems I'd been rescued and resuscitated by a benevolent stranger. I went to find firewood for his campfire, stumbled across a cave, and discovered that trapdoor temple. And here I am. Oh, that happened to us as well. Anything you like. Do you know a way out of here? Not so loud. What are you playing at? Sorry, did I say wrong? Have you not been told about the last attempt? The last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. As not as if I'm going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you are witty. I like that. Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. Was it? Why was it? Hasn't anyone done that they yet? Have. I am getting to that. There was an attempt made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice shake the entire city, and that, tragically, is where their tale ends. Oh. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it is best to not even discuss it aloud. Oh. Damn, did they even tr they didn't even get to try the ladder. Ah, yes. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. As a Greek, this is nothing new to me. It is how our gods operate. Why is, why Have do you, you say not that? Have you heard the tale of the god Hades? He was the first to learn this dreadful lesson when he abducted Persephone and imprisoned her in the underworld. When Demeter, the mother of Persephone, learned of this, she did not punish Hades, the guilty one. Instead, she changed the climate of Earth so that it became hot and dry. Nothing grew. The grain turned to empty husks and the rivers dried up. Innocent people died by the tens of thousands until at last the other gods were forced to act lest they have no worshippers left. So yes, we know this rule. This has always been the case. The golden rule has merely brought it into focus. What can we do about if it? If we are to survive, I say we must each keep the simple wisdom of Thales of Miletus, first of the seven sages of Greece, who said, avoid doing what you would blame others for doing. Uh, easier said than done. Regrettably, I think you are correct, my friend. For even if 99% of us adopt this principle, that will never be enough. Sadly, no matter how well we protect ourselves, the life's work of many good people can be undone in the blink of an eye by a single selfish act. Damn. This is, this is rough. This is rough, buddy. Ah. Uh, the voice of experience. I am sorry for your loss, my friend. But on a lighter note, I will say one thing for the Golden Rune. For all their grim and haunting poses, these golden statues do make magnificent models for my clothing. Do they not? 
Uh, who are you going to vote for? That, my friend, is quite the dilemma. But after some reflection, I'm leaning toward voting for Maleolus. No surprise I there. I enjoy the thought of another visit from Domitius if I voted the wrong way. Ooh. Let me, let's talk course. about something else. Oh, any idea who's threatening v Virgo? This is troubling, is it not? I'm afraid I have no idea. It is ridiculous though. Virgil is a fine man. But my young friend Fabia confided in me that she saw someone leaving graffiti on his shop front last night. Perhaps you should ask her about it. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Hmm, alright, so... Ooh, they have dice over here? Okay. So far, I haven't... Oh. I don't know, should I do it? Okay, I should probably save before I do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal it. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I saved. I wonder what happens now. Like, Looper? No, I don't. I don't want to do go through this again. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? I'm Tina, we've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Dang it. Your name is Galerius. You're about to offer to take me to see Sanchez so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. Um, so, oh, no problem, I have to go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. It's Mr. Clean again. Ooh, a zip line! Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang onto the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Thanks, I'll All be going right. now. See you around. Nice. Okay, where's the things to zip line? This one? Oh, I see it. Oh, there's also like this zip line over there. Um How do I Uh, he didn't explain to me how to do that. Okay, so yep, I cannot, I cannot steal it. I've restarted the day now. I need to get to Lucretia with the Syphilis before Lu Julia dies. Oh, she's not there yet. Oh, that's reef. Really that's cool. Uh, but he didn't explain to me how to use the thing. 
Okay, well... Oh, there! Oh, that's... that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go and... Talk to Sanchez. Oh! Salve! Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the Empire. I'm Dacius. Um... What's your story? I mean, how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Uh, let's hear it. Alright. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society. Had myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the Forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named Acampha, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it, and I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin, so I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. You chose the car, didn't you? Of course I chose the car. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl, if I still have my money. So I put me hand on the car, and I guess you realised what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. Aww. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the Tiber. Uh, so I think I see where this is Literally, going. Actually, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank not far from here with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. Sounds like you got what you deserve. I couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you. There must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. Uh, do you know a way out of here? I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. Ray oh, Norris. Yeah. Gotta watch out. Old Dacius has got your back though. What do you think about the gold? It's room? terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. Oh, okay. Hasn't the badges a bad weapon? Oh, well, technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. Uh, I'll see what Thank I can you, do. Friend. Oh, any I idea who's threatened to Virgil? But I did overhear Fabia telling Georgius she saw something. She was headed to the baths not long ago. Who are you going Malleolus. to vote for? Vote for? I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Certainly. Very well. Another time. I am. I think I have to get the bow in order to get the resin. Yeah, I would have to get the bow for the resin. Julia is gonna die. Wait, she's already dead? Helping people's what I'm all about. Oh my gosh! Jetpack! Oh my gosh, hi! Sugar, we're glad you're here. It's a raid! It's it's a raid. Hold on a sec. Welcome everybody! Welcome to the Tina Balducci stream! How are you doing? Me want to dribble, dribble, <laughs> you know, riding in my fear. You uh, really I don't know. Is uh, is two in a compact? No, is summer here? 
Are you gonna do the shout out? I'm not even sure if Somber is here. You're here again? Welcome back! You just finished Siberia, the first one? Hold on. You just finished this first one? How how did you find it? Wait, was it your fir the first time you played it? Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the shout out because I'm not even sure if Somber is here or not. There you go. There you go. I am I close to finishing? I am I don't think I'm even like a quarter in. It's a very it's a very oh before before anybody go anybody goes. I understand if you've not played this game you might want to leave in order to keep yourself uh to in order to keep yourself spoiler free. But before you do that before you do that we have uh we have the community challenge going on right now the boyfriend makeup challenge uh if i reach 100,000 pop pennies or or uh channel points i will do my boyfriend makeups on stream during my birthday stream so if you want to see me do the makeup in here and turn my my boyfriend into the most fabulous drag queen don't hesitate to contribute oh my gosh thank you good jetpack and candy thank you so much for contributing to each 2000 pop pennies we are now at 85 percent only a 15 percent left then you've got it you have to run to bed no problem by the way uh jetpack i i missed it did you say that it was your first time oh the f first time playing you loved it i wish i saw that i wished i saw that it's such a beautiful game I i'm gonna go and watch the vod but yeah it's a it's such a good game the first siberia the second siberia is also good you're gonna be in for a treat uh if you want to play the third one that's okay Th that's up to you <laughs> the i love i love the first the second and the fourth one so uh you're gonna be in for a tree the third one it's it's up to you it's up to you <laughs> but anyway so since you uh you rated that means we're doing the trivia all right i can't believe this is your first time it's like, I, this is so exciting. The, your first time playing in Siberia. All right. Okay. So, uh, Jetpack, can you do exclamation point spin uh, to get the, the, the category? Oh, we got pink. Pinkish. Pinkish? So, it's a binge worthy all right so i'm gonna I'm, i have a question a binge worthy question uh it's probably about a tv show question it uh anybody can participate the first person to have the question the, the the right answer in the stream chat gets a point and um and um anybody can participate and Google is allowed. So if you don't know the answer, go go ahead and Google it. <laughs> Up to you. Anyway, here's the question. What time bending sci-fi show did Joshua Jackson star on as a member of a special scientific FBI force? What time bending sci fi show did Joshua Jackson star on as a member of a special scientific FBI force? It's it's not Doctor Strange, it's not Men in Black. <laughs> it's time to Google. 
It's time to Google. I'll repeat again. What time bending sci fi show did Joshua Jackson star on as a member of a special scientific FBI force? Honestly, this one I, I don't even I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> Yes, jetpack. The the answer was French. Can somebody? <laughs> I absolutely I knew had no idea French was even a thing. French? Oh my gosh! Your phone froze. Ah, uh, wah wah. You got a point, Jetpack. Congratulations. Oh, you have to drop a lurk? No problem. Thank you so much for for rating and sharing your community with me. If you are not following Goober and Jetpack yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead. Because they are some really good streamers. Um, let me add... Hold on a sec. I don't, I don't know if there's... Oh, is, is that your first point? I'm going to add you then. There you go. Add it. There you go. You are now featured on our trivia ranking. Yeah, like it, I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good night. Good after stream care. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I I think I need to. I need to go and blow my nose before we continue the game. Oh, uh, I'll be right back. Let's uh, switch here. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, I not sure I like how this is laid out. It's there's like way too many too many stuff here. It's like it's hard to keep track of all of this so here obtain a bow okay straightforward enough figure out who is figure out who uh how to stop virgil's harassment figure out who is threatening virgil ask fabia who is threatening, threatening virgil uh fabia somewhere fabia is somewhere figure out a treatment for rheumatism Joe, hi, welcome. Sugar, we're glad you're here. It's uh, it's really fun. It's actually really good. Um, although the for the most part, the for the most part, it, I I was just like going on a rant about the historical inaccuracy about ancient Rome in the, the in in this game, but 
Other than that, other than that, I'm really enjoying this game. <laughs> Don't let me complaining about the historical inaccuracy stop you from enjoying the game. <laughs> uh, also, Joe, reminder, we are at 85% of the, the boyfriend makeup in the boyfriend makeup challenge. So if you want to donate your pop pennies, don't Helping forget to do so. what I'm all about. What, Joe? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for donating a community sub to Ice Cold Car. That's so nice of you. Oh my gosh, Joe. Thank you so much for donating your pop pennies to the cause. Oh, uh, where are we? We're at 87, right? 87%. Oh my gosh. We're, we we've we've done some real progress here. That's awesome. Well, th that is so nice of you, Joe. Thank you so much for the community sub gift sub. Um, so we are not very far into the game. Uh, I've been playing this game for like um for like almost two hours, and I still haven't scratched the f surface. <laughs> getting closer oh yeah oh yeah i can't wait to you know turn turn fisher into the queen that he was meant to be uh by the way if uh, uh joe if you if you have a good drag queen name for fisher share us uh, share with us if you have a good drag queen name for him uh, find a way into the palace. Okay, yeah. I think I need to, to exchange the bow for the, the resin. Um, f um, ask Julia's about the escape plan. Oh, yeah. I need to save her first. Okay, so... Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna take care of this. We all went along with the Magistrate's weapons pen, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. <sighs> Alright, um, let's see here. Oh, Fabia is right there. Help! You have to do something! A man arrived in the baths. Real nasty sort, with his face all covered up. And he's got a weapon. You have to do something, or he's gonna break the golden rule. Oh my gosh, fish out of water? Oh my gosh, serving fisher? Oh my gosh, those are some very good ones. Oh my gosh. Um, how? I don't have a weapon. None of us do. The magistrate made us throw them all into the chasm. So now this man's bow is the only one in the city. You're oh, he has a bow. Improvise. He has a bow. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. He's still in there somewhere. I have to hide. Find me in this empty shrine when it's over. Do not go what? in there. Why? Just trust me. All right, um, fine. Come and find me in my bakery instead. Please be careful. Trickster. Oh, okay. Is it here? Beware, shrine may collapse at any moment. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Continue from last save. I'm dead. I'm dead. When did I last save? When did it last save? Oops. Was it F5 to, to auto save? Oops. It said don't go in there. It can collapse at any time. And of course, me. You know, I was I saw this as an invitation to go in and die. <laughs> of course, absolutely. Why wouldn't you? 
this is why this is what I'm doing so well in Nancy Drew games. Uh, like I'm seeking all the second chances instead of trying to avoid them. Remember when I when Ella would like play the the Nancy Drew games, and I would try to to steer her towards the second chances. <sighs> Come on, game. We don't have all day. Oh, I have some popcorns, but I... I'm gonna need meat. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, where is the guy? He ha... It says... It says that he has a bow, but... Ooh, geometric shapes. Oh yeah, N uh, Ella is uh, is doing a break right now. Um, on a streaming break. But well, what well, well, we just we just have to bully her into into playing again the next two games. We just have to do that. That's simple. Um I did not do it duly. Do what? Uh, hello? Um Uh Hello? Um, so what's your story? My name's Dooley. I live here now because I got in trouble and they, they said they had to lock me up. What'd you do? I don't know. I don't remember things so good. I think it's just because I was looking for treasure. So, tell me do you think you were going to steal? Yes. But I wasn't. I was just looking. Is that all? They said I did it. More than once. But I can't remember things so good. Then they called me mean names. They called... They called me a liar, Billy. Liability? Yes. They said I have to live here now gave me this letter but I'm not good with words do you do you think you could read it for me is it possible that he's uh because he looks like he's old maybe maybe he's suffering from dementia magistrate Santius explained Dooley was locked up to prevent him from trespassing I'm writing to you in relation to your incorrigible anti-social behavior or arising from your obsession with an alleged lost treasure. While I'm sympathetic to your plight and the passing of your guardian Hannibal some weeks ago, I wish to impress upon you an important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. Given your memory limitations, it seems likely you simply misremembered. More importantly, since you have on several occasions been caught trespassing, including around the sisters, which are strictly off limits to all citizens, I have reluctantly came to the conclusion that you are a liability to this community and must have your freedom, freedom limited, lest you break the golden rule. It's my hope that this letter will assist you in to remember why you are incarcerated should you experience further lapses in memories. In memory. What does it say? Tell me the tea now. <laughs> so uh, why why are you locked up? Please tell me everything from your from the time of your birth. Uh, my treasure. 
What treasure? My friend Hannibal used to look after you. He said he always would. But then... I don't know, he his face is really making me feel sad. sad. He said, if anything ever happened to him, I had to find something very precious hidden away. He gave me this key and made me promise to keep it safe until I found the treasure. But I couldn't find it. All I remember is he said something about assistance. But when I went up to the high one, they put me in here. Now nobody looks after me. Except my friend Galerius. Aww. And Ek. Ek. The priestess lady. She's a nice lady. Oh my gosh, there's something about his face that makes me sad for him and I don't even know who he is. If you give me the key, I can try to find out why it unlocks. Hannibal said I sh shouldn't give it to anyone I didn't trust. But maybe you could help me get out of here. Then I, I would trust you a lot. Let me talk to the magistrate about get to, getting you out of here. Galerius already tried that. He said the magistrate wouldn't listen, no matter what. Maybe I'll just break you out. What about the rules? I don't want everyone to get in trouble because I was bad. Then maybe it's time we had a new magistrate. Like, Galerius? He's nice. I like Galerius. He made me a doll and everything. If you help make him magistrate, he can get me out of here and I can give you the key to my treasure. Hannibal said it was in the cisterns. I can't remember what it was, just that it was way up high and very precious. I'll see what I can... I'll see what I can do. Do you know a way out of here? You're going to let me out of here? Really? Uh, I see if you know a way out. Oh. Please. I hate it here. It makes me very sad. Oh, come on. No, don't do that. This is too sad. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't. The, the puppy face is not... Okay, the puppy face. What do you think about the golden rule? Oh, you mean... Treasure? That's... My friend Hannibal used to look up. Oh, alright. We already talked about it. Bye-bye. Okay, so, um... Okay, so what? Intruder? Confront the man, arm the man entering the city. I might die. I might die, but... What did I do? Why are you saying stop it? What did I do again? Oh, hi. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? I don't even know who he is. I don't know a Quinctius. Oh, yes, I saw him worshipping in a small round shrine just inside the city. Second building to on your left. Thank you. For your service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now. But you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again. Can I can I get your bow? Can I follow you? Ah, dang it. I wanna see what's inside though. Oh, that was directed towards the elder. He's he's a simple. This was so sad. 
Wait. That's a... I've been here, like, but, like, the... Figure out how to neutralize the arm. Man. Lead resolved? Intruder? Ooh, I can... I can swim. I'm just gonna go around and see I'm not missing. So in to the, the, it's the hole over here. You uh, you fall in here and you're now in this this the forgotten city. What? Uh, can I? She was about to, to jump in. Oh my gosh. That's such a uncomfortable way to get to, to turn into stone. A wooden ball? Let's see if I Oh I should probably save. Was F five, right? Oh! Ah ha ha! Bye, bitch. Emperor, by order of Emperor Nero, all sons of. All loyal sons of Rome are ordered to hunt and execute the arsonist and murderer. Tiberius Quintius Crispus, a citizen from the Aventine district of Rome. He's about... Are ordered to hunt and execute the uh, Okay, okay. By order of Emperor Nero. Nero is in this, in this game, apparently. All loyal sons of Rome are ordered to hunt and execute the arsonist and murderer Tiberius... Quintius Crispus, a citizen from the Aventine uh, district of Rome. He's about 40 to 50 years old. His average height, average build, has dark hair, and has one of the green eyes and one blue eye. Has one green eye and one blue eye. He is typically clean shaven. He's known to associate with cultists and suffer from delusions of grandeur. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, where's... Where's he? Where's the dude? Oh! Hi! You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine bow you're carrying. No idea how you managed to get your hands on it, especially in the light of our dear old magistrate's ban. But I'm impressed. And before you ask, no, I wouldn't dream of trying to buy it from you. I have no use for a wooden bow myself. But, I would like to propose a joint business venture of sorts. Go on. Tell me, do you have any idea how people here end up as golden statues? Um... No? Well, between you and me, I found an old scroll from years ago, hastily written, in which the author claimed something extraordinary and terrifying. He wrote that when the golden rule is broken, Statues spring to life all over the city, wielding golden bows, and begin firing golden arrows at the inhabitants. Supposedly, one or two of those arrows is enough to turn a full-grown man into gold. Now, of course, that is a travesty, a terrible, horrible waste of human life, which has to be stopped. And yet, on the other hand, I can't help but think of a tale told by that Greek fella Aesop, the goose that laid the golden egg. With the ability to transmute organic matter into gold, one could create infinite wealth. Use your imagination. Golden animals, insects, trees, and plants. The Midas touch without the drawbacks. We are talking riches beyond imagining. And even if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, half of infinite wealth is still infinite. Interesting. Um... 
I think the golden goose is meant to be a cautionary tale. Look, I might have skimmed over that one, but don't be so pedantic. Are you interested or not? Okay. Excellent. So the first question is, how do we get our hands on one of those golden bows? Now, I have a plan. But first, tell me, are you familiar with the story of the goddess Diana? Uh, yeah. Good. Then none of this should be a surprise to you. Diana is our goddess. Oh, he's gonna tell me anyway. In the underworld, depending on who you ask. The one thing he's gonna tell me anyway is that she carried with her a golden bow and a quiver of golden arrows. And it just so happens that there is a shrine of Diana in this very forum with a prominent statue of the goddess herself. And would you like to guess what she's holding in her hand? A golden bow? Precisely. I can't tell you how many hours I've spent in that temple staring at it, trying to figure out how to retrieve it without breaking, you know what. But you want me to steal it? Oh, gods, no. If you tried that, we'll be dead within moments, I'm sure. No, here's what I propose. You give your bow to me, I cover it in a thin layer of gold leaf, and we create a replica of a golden bow. Then you enter the shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft exactly, it's more of a, a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. Now, you must have questions. Ask away. Why can't... Why can't I just take it? Because the gods would see you, of course. Hence, my proposal. Why can't you do it I'm yourself? more of an ideas man. Whereas you're obviously the more resourceful and heroic type. I have complete confidence in you. Is it extremely dangerous? When Prometheus stole fire from the gods and became a hero to all mankind, do you think he was worried about the danger? Prometheus was also punished for eternity, if I recall correctly. Only because he was silly enough to get caught. So, are you in, partner? Uh... If you don't like action or horror elements, feel free to decline. Oh, I'll do it. Well, don't ever call me partner. Wonderful. Now, if you'll hand over your bow, I can get started applying a layer of gold leaf. This is a quality weapon. Now, bear with me for a moment. And here we are. A gold leaf bow. I've gone and unlocked the Shrine of Diana for you, so as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, but before we do that, uh, we had... The sinner over here. Where's Fabia? We're gonna talk to Fabia over here. of him yeah the tragic accident that's right an accident so it's over oh god that's such a relief i really thought we were all going to die i i do have a question though that shrine the one i was going to hide in did you know it was going to collapse um no really then how oh i see oh, i should probably keep my big mouth shut then sorry i promise nobody else will ever know what you did but i know that was really clever thank you i'm glad you're here i'm i'm oh, glad lying is not welcome. breaking the golden I'm rule Fabia. sorry i was a bit frantic before need anything um any idea who's threatening Virgil? Mm, terrible shame, that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. 
All I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic. Armor, I think. So I suppose Ooh. it could only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius, or Rufius. I hope that helps. Thanks, that does help. What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. How'd you end up here? I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Mm, that's unfortunate. It's nice of you to say, but you should save your sympathy. Lots of people here need it more than I do. What? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes. And Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Well, he... he does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you could live out your days. Ah, uh, fair enough. I mean... What do you think about the golden rule? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, will we? I like your optimism. Thanks. And I like your teeth. They're so white. And your clothes. Oh, I bet my friend Georgius would like to get a look at you. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you too. He'll be just across the forum in his shop. All right. Thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. All right. Uh, oh. Okay, let's uh, investigate Domitius, Orachius, or Ruf and Rufius. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on! I wanted to talk to you! Wait. What is it, citizen? Oh, this guy actually looks very good. He look actually looks very convincing. Unlike the other mo character models, I don't know what's happening with these other ones, but he looks very like... Like a real person. Who? Took care of him. Good job. Uh, so, are you what's I'm your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. Wait till it takes the off the helmet. Ah! Making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How'd you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think Aww. about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl. And pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets. Shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. 
Then some genetric confuture tool tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No Thank you so much for the alert, so Mama. I also saw that you followed me on, on Duolingo. I also saw that you followed me on Duolingo, so I followed you back. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I appreciate that. Have a good night. Hmm. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. No, before you go, I saw that you were learning, um, learning Spanish and Japanese. What days? What's your like strike? Um, you mean like the day you're at? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. You'll make sure to watch the VOD later? Absolutely! I'm making some progress. It, I'm making some progress, but like when when they be talking, I'm just listening and just... Get, 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 get moving. Get moving on the story. He's one of the better commanders I've ever had. That's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. I think it is like so funny. Romans like who uh, follow the philosophy of stoicism. I think it's very funny. But I actually it's the best. It's the best version. It's um. It, it, I would rather have people who follow stoicism than anything else, really. But even the, the even the people who follow Stoicism back in the day in ancient Greece, uh, in ancient Rome, even the, 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 the people who were who were into that philosophy, even though they treated the slaves really well, they never they never could imagine like a world without slaves. They never they never suggested the abolition of slavery. I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear oh, I'm glad about that. Mom's misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. I'm glad I inspired you into going back to Duolingo. Yay! Learning buddies! Anyway, have a good night, Mama. And didn't mean to keep you from going lurking. <laughs> I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Wait, why? Why can't I take that? Hmm. Oh, but it'll it'll serve me well. It'll. It's actually gonna help me out. So you have Aurelia, the tavern keeper, claims to know a way out. Why would you write that down? <laughs> Claudia, patrician, wife of my Maleolius. Mm -hmm. This is mer merchant. Mm. Night. Oh, you'll be lurking too, Blue? Thank you so much for the lurk, Blue. I appreciate that. Have a good night. Um, Domitius. Did I meet Domitius? I don't know. I don't even remember. Do, do you use unable to work in prison oh wait is it the guy is it the guy that I, the with the puppy face the old guy with the puppy face oh i'm gonna i'm gonna do that 
Duilius. I don't think he is. Maybe. Equisha. Vestal Priestess. I don't. I haven't met her yet. Fabia, I met. Galerius, I met. Mr. Clean. Georges, I met. Love him. Animal, he's uh, he's dead. Horatius, maybe. Kabash, I haven't. Disappeared. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah. That bonds me to, to my oldies. Oh, Olivia, hairdresser. Now refuses to work. Oh, my gosh. Lucretia, the nurse. Wait, what the... Foreigner? Foreigner? Oh my gosh. Okay. Foreigner. Money lending. Not to be trusted. Maelius. Oh my gosh. Navia. Locked for seven in palace. Octavia. Cleaning gardening. Her? Patrician? Okay. Rufius. Patrol, increasingly agitated. Sentia, restrict our villa for sa safety. Sentia, missing. Sentius, the magistrate. Opius, haven't met. And Virgil, the architect, love him. Thanks. Of course. What do you think about the golden rule? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Um... Where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Uh, our worlds are very different. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. Are you saying you're in favor of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the golden rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, so the guy was like coming up the stairs and was passing us and you could hear him growling like in, like he was like Rrr. Oh my gosh Someone so someone is beefing Someone is beefing Someone doesn't like Horatius <laughs> Uh, I cannot so rewind I it. I cannot rewind it. It already happened. Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. 
Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolis with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolis. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Uh, that's too bad. I suppose it is. Can we talk about Setia? What business is that of yours? I'm looking for her. A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? Uh, sometimes fresh eyes help. Hmm. I suppose that's true. You knew anything, s noticed anything suspicious before she went missing? Scintilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolis, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. I know what you did to her. If you're accusing me of a crime, you better have something to back it up. No matter what, I was just testing you. <laughs> Worth a try, I suppose. <laughs> Fine. Oh, yeah, there's one threatening Virgil. What? Absolutely not. I know someone's been threatening him, and I'm not happy about it. But I can assure you, it isn't me. Fair enough. All right. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Scintilla. I don't believe it was him. He's way too old for this bullshit. Not that I'm saying old people cannot be homophobic, but... <laughs> Graffitis is kind of like... Graffiti is kind of... Why? Would you do that? Oh! Do not, don't steal anything, don't hurt anyone, don't. Whoever wrote this didn't get a f chance to finish it, evidently. Oh. Wait, that, those are the slums? I thought it was just a passage. Such a beautiful place. Olivia? Oh, hi! Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. What's your story? The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depth. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. I'm sorry, I have no idea what that means. They never do. Do you know a way out of here? There is only a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. Do you need help? Help me? You cannot help me. I have seen things. A pattern. A terrible pattern. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Pandora's box must stay closed. I'll say no more. Uh, what do you think about the, the bloodless wolf? shadows? This is their punishment. Right. The newly arrived are ignorant of the road before them. Okay! Sagres lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold graying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, 
imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? There, okay. Uh, hi. Oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. And, uh, I hope I'm not being too forward, but... The moment I laid eyes on you, I was... Intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. A certain learning and sophistication. Oh, you touch my tra la la. Mm -hmm. mm, my ding ding dong. Hey, you're as charming as you're beautiful. Ugh, coming on a bit strong, don't you think? What? You came on to me. I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so intriguing anymore. <laughs> that ever happened, so we can at least do business. Smooth talker. So, what brings you to my tavern? This is why I cannot, I can, I cannot, I cannot uh, 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 flirt with the ladies. It always ends up badly. Pardonini, interesting gossip. Certainly, for ten dinari. What? Oh, I have ten denarii. How embarrassing for you. Oh, now she's she's mean towards me. Oh, let it go. Nothing's going to happen between us. You know, normally I'd expect you to buy me a drink before asking if I want to get out of here. That's cute. The seriously do the other way out. Straight to business, huh? No, I can work with that. As a matter of fact. I do know a way out. I'm happy to tell you all about it, but this is valuable information we're talking about, and I don't just give it out like some cheap oracle. So, how badly do you want it? Is it worth, say, a thousand denarii? Dude, I don't even have ten. I don't even have, I don't even have ten denaries. How do I know this isn't a scam? If I took your money without giving you what I promised, I'd be breaking the golden rule, wouldn't I? And I have no interest in doing that. Uh, isn't it kind of unethical to keep all these people trapped in here knowing there's a way out? I think of it this way. I have something of value and I'm willing to share it for a price. That's not unethical. That's just good business. Now, do you want it or not? If... If you have a way out, why haven't you used it for yourself? Simple. It's a one-way trip. And I'm not ready to go just yet. I like my life here. One day, maybe. But not now. But I... The more minutes you spend here, the more at risk you are, but whatever. Well, I can't tell you too much, or you'd figure it out for yourself. But I promise you, you'll never have to spend another hour in this city ever again. I don't have that kind of money right now. Well, perhaps you could take out a loan. I understand Maliolus has lent money to others on occasion. What do you think about the golden rule? I just try not to think about it. Drink helps with that. As the saying goes, to drink is human. So we drink. I'll be going. Alright. See ya. Dang it. I fucked it up with her. The 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 many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Huh? Anything here? Ooh, bottle. Um, gives our faint salty aroma. Ooh, 
Well, Horatius doesn't have anything in his uh, in his chest except money. Wait, is he downstairs? Is that what this is? Oh my gosh. Who's speaking with the devil though? Oh! A diary, dream diary from Kabash in what he describes his recurring dreams about a stranger named, named Kurti. I told Lucretia about the dreams I've been having and she said it might help her divine, her divine their meaning if I wrote them down. It happened again last night. The man by the river down there. Uh, the, the man by the river was there as always. His face shrouded in shadow from a pit peculiar ram headdress once again he introduced himself as Curti and told me he dragged me down the river he seemed to smirk as he said his name as if it meant something I could not understand indeed the name rings a bell but I cannot for the life of me remember what I had heard I do not think I will sleep soundly again until I know who is Curti hmm hmm Alright, uh what about in here? <gasps> Wait, who, who's this your final worn written note? Oh did an incomplete written note addressed to sinner. Wait, who's who's uh Rufius? Did I ever talk to Rufius? I don't think I've ever talked to Rufius. I don't even remember. Oh, wait. Is that a penis? Is that a... Oh my gosh. Is that a dick? A phallic charm. Carving. Oh, it's it's not a dick that has been fossilized. It's a, a dick that has been carved in the stone. Taught by the Roman to have divine protective properties. It's so amazing. It's it's amazing how men are so into themselves. They think that their own dick has like protective divine properties. It's like, oh yes. We, we do have dicks, so it must be magic, right? No! No. Alright, I've... It's Rufius, but who's Rufius again? That's what I wanna know. Did I talk to everyone? I want to explore maybe all of it before I... I love your clothes. So... Exotic. Eh. You stay away from my money. I just want to check your. I just want to check your room. That's all. Um. Key to Aurelia, Aurelia's chest. Oh. Mm. A game when a game where you want me to slip some hemlock into your next drink. Get out. Wait, what did I do? What did I do? Let the buyer beware. Why is she... Why is she like this with me? I didn't do anything. 
The 49 melodies fetch again with incessant labor. The water they have lost. Oh. A wooden, a small wooden model of an arena, possibly Verona Arena, which was completed in the first century and still in use today. Nice. I, I'm glad that I'm glad that I chose archaeologists. Key to the chest in the. Shrine of Apollo. Oh, wait, that's not stealing. Nice. Uh. So much stuff here, so many golden statues. Um, her brack. This is Lucretia's. Roman, a small household shrine where ancient Romans offered daily prayers for protection. This one depicts Apollo. Forty-nine melodies fetch again, with incessant labor, the water they have lost. Hmm. Trading dummy? Dice tower? A metal dice tower designed to stop people from cheating when rolling dice. Clearly, cheating must be a problem among Romans. Not in this community. Carrying this shield with him or when he arrived in the city. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I want to go there. All right. Let's go back and... The 49 melodies fetch again. And snitch on Rufus Fierce. Oh no way. I can I can actually call out Rufus apparently. Ooh wait. Well that's this nice place. It's not exactly a a theater, but remix the case against the existence of the golden rule. The Myth of the Golden Rule by Dorotas the Younger As per our custom, I shall begin by paying my respects to the god responsible for, for this city for our continued prosperity and tranquil seclusion. He deserves our admiration, but here I must depart from custom for his attempt to at imposing strict rule upon us is a preface and overreaching and deserving of our contempt. Who among us has not awoken at night in the cold sweat, fearing some sort of accidental transgression of the golden rule? All of us must accept that we're all capable of error, whether from a momentary lapse in judgment or a conscious decision based on a faulty re reasoning. Yet the great threat, the sword of Damocles that we live under is, I believe, merely a deception and I shall prove it to you. Let me begin by dismissing the counter arguments. First, it may be argued that the inscription stating the many shall suffer for the sins of the one is evidence that the golden rule is very real, but that is logically unsound, for we cannot assume the writers knew any more than we did. That is the message was that this mission was inscribed does not make it true anymore that if I were to, to inscribe Dorotas the Younger is the God. Second, it may be argued that the statues in this place are evidence that the golden rule is real. You need not remind me of that. It is I who discovered them all around the city. It is I who collected them, placed them in a handcart, and placed them in the niche in which they sit today. 
I will not soon forget them. And yet, I refuse to leap to the conclusion that they were once real people. There is simply no evidence to support that conclusion. Which, when we read the story of Venus bringing Pygmalion's scripture Ga Galatea to life, we do not believe it is true. Why should we take a different view here? But ultimately, the argu arguments are just that. After years of living in fear, there's only one way for me to prove that the golden rule is a falsehood. Falsehood is that is through action. Friends, I apologize in advance, but one day you will see this movement as a turning point in our city's history. Let us once and for all, if the golden rule is real, as I strike one of you with my fist. And he was wrong. He was wrong. That is unfortunate. Oh, I'm, go I'm back. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Trying to find him. Might be somewhere around here. Oh my gosh, is he down there? Oh my gosh. I have no idea where I'm going. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Wine and money. Awesome. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get lost. I'm pretty sure of it. No, from Livia. Cryptic, almost poetic rambling from Livia. The place is called Accursed. Here, Titius offers him up his innards to be torn, stretched out over nine fields. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water and the tree you grasp at eludes you. You, Sisyphus, attack a or pursue the stone that always returns. Erixion turns and follows after himself and flees in the 49 belly deeds. Who dared the plot of destruction of their cousins, their husbands, fetch again with incessant labor the water they have lost? Okay. Okay. Is that Lydia's house? Am I reading the slum? Of course you can't move. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh I'm here it the is. fire is not for sale. Name's Rufius. Better watch your step. I are you the one friendly, Virgil? No idea what you're talking about. I know it was you. I found an incomplete letter to him in your quarters. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? I'm just going to ask you to stop threatening him. And why should I? The one true God. Says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. If that's true, why hasn't the golden room been broken already? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does, we're going to have a problem. 
Seems to me your agitation is a bigger threat than Virgil's personal affairs. The gods of Rome don't care about homosexuality, so why would they care about Virgil? There is only one true god. And he laid waste to Sodom and Gomorrah because of exactly this kind of thing. Who was it that said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you? I am doing that. If I was about to get everyone else killed, I would want someone to stop me. How do you think the Magistrate will react if he knew you were a cultist? I don't like where this is going. Leave Virgil alone or I'll out you to everyone. I have no idea what you're talking about. But unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't ever talk to me again. Damn, what if I talk to you again? I have nothing to say to you, Caput Magda. Oh, the ho the homophobic is not happy with me. Ah, persuade refuse to stop trending Virgil. Figure out how to stop Virgil's harassment. Ah, what if I find a little nest? Um, wait, hold on. Princess might be able to help. Enter the shrine of Diana. Hmm. Um. Find way to the palace. Wait. Where's my? I have in inventory. Um. Key to the chest in the shrine of Apollo. Oh, uh, I don't know where the sh even the shrine of Apollo is. Do I have a map? I don't. Oh my gosh, there's way too many leads. I need, I need some. Um. Oh wait, hold on. I okay. I'm gonna you, go. Tantalus cannot catch the drops of the I'm gonna go to the shrine of Apollo and open the chest. Maybe uh, there is gonna be something to help me there. Oh wait. Do I ever run out of breath? She's still alive, oh my gosh. Um, where's the chest? It says there's, it says there's a locked chest here somewhere in the shrine of a, oh, oh, chest. Oh, treatment notes. Willow bark. There you go. What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that cool as Cumulatus Decius won't give it to me. I have a si Silphium resin. Here, take a look. What? Quick, give Wait, it. Wait, how did I? Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help Wait, you. when did I get it? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had it. How, when, when did I get it? Hopefully in a moment she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? I had no idea I had it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, uh, 
I heard she got sick earlier. I went to find medicine. But how could you know she needed this exact medicine? And how did you even get it? I guess it doesn't matter. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Um, I figured out how to treat robotism. You made it into the palace. I'm impressed. How is Nevia? After I did it, I found it another way. Oh, I see. Well, what's the treatment? Willbach. Willowback. I should have known. It was under my nose the whole time. That's very helpful. Thank you. If this works, it should settle Rufius down some. I have some right here. Could you do me a favor and give him some of this? He'll just need to swallow a pinch of it. I'm hoping it will avert disaster. Oh, um, the thing about Rufius is that uh, he's not happy with me right now. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really glad you arrived when you did. That's a shame. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Okay, so it does it mean that we keep the stuff that we steal even when we time travel? That's amazing. I didn't realize that. I was gonna go and get the fucking bow and everything to exchange, but I guess... I guess that wasn't necessary. Ixian. Horatius? Looking a bit troubled. I have nothing to say to you, Caput Magda. Um... Don't be too hard I have nothing to say to you, Caput Magda. Nobody saw it coming. Dude, I I have the your medicine. Give some willow bark, willow bark to Rufius. Um. Things you can't control. Yeah, but I have nothing to say to you, Caput Magda. I guess I would have to go back in time again. Reach ne Nevia in the palace. Um Yeah, he's going to be angry at me for the rest of the time. I'm okay. I'm I'm going to not. Um Get Dooley's key to the upper cistern. I wonder how I'm supposed to do that. What if she's out there somewhere suffering, waiting to be found? Sounds like you're torturing. I have nothing to say to you, Caput Magda. Try to relax. Get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. Galerius, can you help me? Can you help me, Galerius? Oh, back again, I see. I heard what you did for our Yulia. Very impressive. Even if the source of your medicine was a little shady. Very well. Another time. Um. Ask a ga Galerius to run for magistrate. Oh, I will do that. Galerius. I saw you use the device I made, and it worked. Anyway, I'm sorry to ask, but is there any Shall chance I? you'd be willing to do me a favor? What do you need? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too steep to climb, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only I uh, couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. Do you think you could use the device again and try to get that flower for me? Uh, sure. Wait, why do you need it? I, uh, I don't really feel comfortable talking about it. Come on, tell me, do you have a little crush on someone? Look, I'll tell you everything if you get it for me, alright? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you. 
It would help me a lot. There's no rush, just whenever you get a chance. I'll see what I can do. Uh, what's your story? Well, it's a long one and kind of sad, but I don't mind telling it. I have time. I'm a farmer. Always have been. I grew up in a small village in Britannia, Camulodunum, with my parents and two little sisters. Lovely part of the world. One day, when I was about 20, my father and I were in the top paddock, loading our cart, when some Roman legionaries came along, demanding produce for their men. My father told me to run into the house for his axe, and so I did. I sprinted so fast I almost threw up. But by the time I got back, he was bleeding out on the ground, and our cart was empty. That was my first encounter with the legions. Aww. My mother died of a broken heart soon after, and things went downhill from there. I took over the farmstead, but I was young. It was a struggle. More raiding started before too long. We'd come outside in the morning to find animals missing, our stores pillaged. These legion thugs just took whatever they wanted. One night, when my sisters and I had nothing left to steal, there was a knock at the door. I knew who they were, and what they wanted. I got my father's old axe, pulled the door open real quick, and before that soldier knew it, split his face right down the middle. But there were more of them. I never saw how many, because the next thing I knew, I was waking up with a mouth full of dirt and lungs full of smoke. Aww. My home was reduced to ash. My sisters, dead. And they left me alive to see what they'd done. Still burns whenever I think about it. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, I wasn't the only one this happened to. It wasn't long before Boudicca led thousands of Britons in a rebellion against the Romans. Unfortunately, there were just too many of them. And those of us who survived, they enslaved. So, then I found myself being transported all the way to Rome. To be sold to the highest bidder. I spent a few years working for my new master. Learning the Romans' ways. Romanized my name and everything. Tried to escape a couple of times. But they always found me, and I'd just end up right back where I was. I'd probably still be there, too, if it wasn't for the stampedes breaking out. You see, about seven months ago, an enormous fire broke out in Rome. Everybody was running down toward the river, screaming and shouting. I'd never seen anything like it. Human beings acting like cattle. I got swept up with them somehow, and the rest is a blur. The next thing I knew, some stranger was dragging me out of a river. Stumbled across this place and I started my life over again. It's so weird. He mentioned that he tried to escape a few times but he kept getting caught. If that were the case, uh, the punishment for, get, for slaves uh, trying to escape and getting caught is like very severe like they would get branded in their faces so like it, they would leave a big mark on your face so and and mr clean over here like i don't see any marks on his face so yeah but that's that's yeah pretty sad that's what i thought too for a while but it seems the gods aren't done tormenting me yet. See, I finally had my own farm again. Safe from the grasping hands of the Romans. Or, so I thought. Until Sentius the Decurion demanded I hand over all my produce. It's for the good of us all, he says. Only he takes the best bits for himself, of course. He even told me if I refuse his demands, I'll break the golden rule. I'm not sure I believe him, but then, what if he's right? So, it turns out our dear old Magistrate is no better than the Legion thugs who took everything from me. I'm right back where I began. But don't you worry, Nemesis is waiting. And he'll get his, one day. He'll get his. Uh, forget I said that last part, will you? I get carried away, sometimes. Sure. Thanks, friend. 
I knew I liked you. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Um... Do you know where you are well, As much as I'd love to get out of here, the harvest's always more fruitful in another man's field, isn't it? But Scintilla, Sentius' daughter, went missing a few weeks back. Could be she found a way out. If anyone knows for sure, it'll be her sister, Sentia. But she'd never tell the likes of me. What do you think about the Golden War? Oh, I don't give it much thought these days. I mean, everybody here has got their own view about what we need to do to survive. But I say, let's spend less time arguing about what it means to be good and just get on with it, you know? What do you think about the election? Uh, what do I you don't see how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. You're about to start. Ever thought about running for magistrate yourself? I've bounced the idea around once or twice, mainly as a way of getting Dooley set free. God knows Sentius is never going to do it. But from what I hear, Maliolus has the election stitched up. Nobody's going to take him on and win. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. I mean, he talks a lot about freedom, so I'm hoping if he's elected, he'll release Dooley from his cell. That's good enough for me. Why is the Dooley in the cell? Because Sentius put him there. Poor Dooley was just wandering around looking for some imaginary treasure. Now a magistrate accused him of being a thief. That's nonsense, of course. Dooley's the most harmless man you'll ever meet. But Sentius really has it in for him, for some reason. Gladly. Alright, see you around. Aww. Um. On your best behavior, I trust. Rufius really is. is a really hateful creature. Don't you just I'll love do it all a favor time? and drink hemlock, cap at murder. What? What did I do? Fear is proof of a What did I do? Oh my you, gosh. Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. Let... Oh my gosh. I. Everybody hates me. Um. Enter the shrine of Diana. Me, wait. What a, is the priest Always somewhere? Returns. Um, how about? Ooh. Oh, okay, hold on. If I use it and I... Mm. I don't know if I could grab the flower. Ah! Oh my gosh, did I make it? Oh, dang it. dark now oh I see oh, I have to redo it again and again and again uh. ah. it's all about timing Damn, I've angered two people, but like, so I cannot complete the missions. Ah! 
Oh fuck! Too early. I might have to do it multiple times. It's not. Wait. Oh! What about this one? Oh no, I have to... To go up there. It won't let me zip line from there. Alright. Alright. No! Ah! Oh my gosh. I was really off this time around. Like, really, really off. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to do it? Oh, I can't even do this one. At least I don't get tired from what I can see. Ah, shit! Oh, dang it! I really want that flower. I really, really, really want that flower. Greetings and salutations. It's for my boy Galerius. Hmm. If I go and do this. Ah! No! Wait, how did I? Oh my gosh. How am I supposed to do it? It's so difficult. Damn. I cannot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! No! I just did it a little bit too too uh, late. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. I'm determined. I am determined. It's just a hiccup. A relief depicting a great circular portal and porpoise pro Serpina, the g Roman goddess of the la cycle of life and renewal. Her story is a grim one. It's said that she has been a was abducted by Pluto and forced into marriage against her will. See, they are using the, the Roman names here. Persephone. Prosepina. I will get. I will get it. Ah! I did it. I did it. this hell yeah wait what is oh it's just butterflies and it was nothing it's for you Galerius it's for you Loisimos Oh my gosh, my boy Galerius, why are you? Why are you? In the slums? Galerius, 
Horatius. Ixian. Horatius. Turns. Looking a bit troubled there. Still no sign of Centilla. And I haven't slept right in three weeks. Now don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, nobody saw it coming. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Yeah, but I keep thinking. What if there is something I can do? What if she's out there somewhere suffering, waiting they to are wa They are looking at Sounds me very like funny. Yourself. Leave that for the gods. Try to relax, get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. I suppose you're right. Ah, it's you again. Hope you're settling in, friend. Now, what's on your mind? I have the flower you wanted. Brilliant! You did it! Well done! This is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be... terrible. What's the worst that could happen? You mean, aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a Vestal Priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, and I'd get flogged to death for good measure. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful, and I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. Like Whoa, what? Oh my gosh, I was talking. I was talking. Oh my gosh, the interruption. Oh my gosh, rude. You could have waited a bit, a, a little bit, you know. Oh, everybody's going. The election is on. Oh my gosh! Hi, nerdy horse girl. Welcome. Sugar, we're glad you're here. How are you doing? Welcome. Is this your first time here? I don't remember. How are you doing? Uh, something is about to happen. Um, I'm not sure what that means to me. Supposedly it's an election for the new magistrate. Honestly, I don't have any I don't have any horses in this race. I'm just like watching them. I, I know Galerius is not running, so I don't really care who Citizens, wins. We have a quarate body of oh, gathered here. So this is this is him, right? The the other guy. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Nice. Maliolus. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Meliolus. Rufius. Meliolus. And finally, Domitius. Meliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Oh, Meliolus is your now the new magistrate. magistrate. Is Marcus Meliolus Gurgis. Hail, Magistrate Meliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail, Magistrate Meliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay, good. Good to know. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. 
No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the golden rule is no more. Whoa! The rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. Uh, oops. His sentence and I, oh, to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. Here? Now? You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You doom us all. Lies. It is time the Oh my gosh, look at him. Domitius is ready. Fable, exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. Figure out how to it's make it. For the sins of the one. Oh my gosh. I can't. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna stay there and watch them turn to stone. Dang it. Oh. Dang it! <laughs> they broke the golden. They broke the golden rule. I was gonna stay there and wait for him to turn to 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 gold, but he. But like they started shooting arrows at me, and I'm like, okay, fine. And we are... We're back to the beginning. Amazing. Oh, hey! Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and why you look like you've just taken on a gladiator and lost? I'm seeing I need you to take care... I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. Um. Oh, okay. I need you to fa stop Fabio entering the empty shrine and tell the new around he'll find what he's looking for in there. All right, let me see. Stop Fabio going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Uh, Uya is dying, but Lucretia can help her without the civil civium. Take some of it and go quickly. Yulia? Oh no. All right, I can do that. Nice. I'll go. But once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. I don't have to do uh, all of this again. Oh, but I, I do need to do again the thing, the flower. Fuck! I need to do the, the whole flower again. God damn it! Okay, wait, do I have to? No, I, I will. I will, okay? This is for Galerius. I'm gonna get this freaking flower all over again. You, and Tantalus, cannot catch the drop. At least, maybe the, 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 the other two that are mad at me, they won't be mad anymore. No! Ah! Oh my gosh! Okay, I need to be quicker than this. I need to be quicker. This is... Hon Honestly, like, I... 
I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for like my in my conversation with him being interrupted. Ah! Oh no, too early. Too late, too early. What else? What's what else is new? Pretty cool that we can swim underwater. Okay, so so it do you have no choice it has to be a time loop because because no matter what my 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 uh, this, this guy this, this other guy is going to try it's going to be like oh the golden rule oh, is it a thing shit so it's going to force us having to to loop all over again Okay, so... No! Oh no! I was still too early! Oh my gosh! Uh. Yeah, 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 we know. You can't move. I just need that flower for my boy! Galerius! <laughs> Alright, well, what I wouldn't do for my boy Galerius! Ah! Dang it! How, how am I not? Fortune, salve again, friend. I went and did as you asked, and it worked. How is it possible that you've just arrived here and you already know everyone and exactly what's about to happen to them? You, uh, just a lucky guess? Uh. <laughs> Good one. But seriously, how did you know? You'd never believe me if I told you. Oh, come on. I just did as you asked. The least you can do is level with me. I'll keep it between us. I promise. Okay, I'm, I trust you. I'm reliving the same day over and over again. Uh, you're toying with me, right? Wait, you're not kidding, are you? That's the only way you could have known. You're a bit like... Oh. What's his name? Sisyphus. Yeah, that's the one. Old King Sisyphus. How so? Sisyphus was a Greek king a long time ago. For daring to think he could outsmart the gods, he was given a terrible punishment. He was forced to push a great boulder up to the top of a hill. Only, just as it reached the top, it would roll all the way back down to the bottom, forcing him to start over and over and over again for all eternity. Just like you. Actually, now that I think about it, there are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them do the same futile task over and over. Tantalus was made to grasp a fruit on a tree he could never quite reach. The Pelides had to keep fetching water in a sieve. Oh, and Ixion was strapped to a wheel going round and round forever. But, on the bright side, at least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. Anyway. I don't know which god you managed to upset to get yourself into this position, friend, but you seem all right to me. So, I'll tell you what. I'll keep doing whatever I can to help you. You just focus on finding a way to break the cycle you're in. Oh, you're a good man. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Now, I'm going to keep your secret. Although, it's not as if I'll remember this next time we talk anyway, right? <laughs> oh, and if our conversations ever start to annoy you, just tell me you're busy. I know when I'm not wanted. May fortune smile on you, friend. Oh my gosh, I am more determined than ever to get that flower for my boy Galerius. I will get the flower. Okay, hold on. Wait! Oh my gosh, right on top of her. Oh my gosh, that one... That one... 
landing was a miracle. Uh. No, no. Ah! I either go too. F I either do too early, too late. Oh my gosh! Can never do it like in the white right sweet spot. I'll wait too much. It says I already gave the flower, but like... No, I haven't. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, dang it. Just wanted to finish our conversation. It's probably I probably don't have to do that, but I, I I still want to see what he was gonna say. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's that wasn't normal. Oh god, this is probably boring to watch, but I really want that flower. Okay, come on. Come on, Tinati, you can do it! Oh, too early again! Too early again. Just one more s one more second. I would have got it. Huh. C. Alright. So, uh, almost midnight here. Oh, 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 oh! Oh no! Oh my gosh, I thought I was gonna get it. I thought I was gonna get it. I just want Galerius to be happy. Yeah, the visuals are very stunning. Uh, apparently, there were like what three, four people who worked on this for like in a, on a span of four years. It's amazing. Gosh, this is this is so frustrating. You saw that I was right there on that col uh, on that little hill, and then I slipped behind. It started off as a Skyrim mod, so they probably didn't have to do it. Oh, whoa! Is the game trying to screw with me? Is that what's happening? Is the game trying to screw with me? The game doesn't want me to get the flower. If that's what's happening... Oh my gosh. See? I'm not... Oh my gosh. It's like it does. It's like I. It's doing everything for that. For. It's doing everything to prevent me to, to go, get on this island. Game, just let me have the flower. Just let me have the flower. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it! Get it, yes, I got it! You can't stand the motion blur? I'm not sure, let me see if I can. I mean... 
let me see if it's oh it's actually weird but not it's not wait hold on somber how did you manage to oh my gosh two thousand years yes i know i know i know I mean, it's not really doing much of a difference for me. We do did it though. We just need to find... What, okay, how do I find Galerius? How do I find Galerius? Oh. Um, shit. Now I don't know where he is. Now I don't know where he is was right there and now i don't know where he is oh i haven't met you yet a new face Ave, and may vesta watch over you i'm equitia to what do i owe the pleasure of this visit um uh, what's your story oh my i take it people are quite direct where you're from i suppose it's quite charming in its own way Usually, however, you wouldn't simply march up to a Vestal Priestess and without due formality or courtesy ask, what is your story? Sorry, what should have, have I done? The proper approach would be to arrange an introduction through a mutual acquaintance in high office, by which time you would already know how to address me. And then you would find a way to satisfy your curiosity rather more indirectly. But to be honest, I've often thought what an unnecessarily formal way to communicate that is. So, let's do it your way. You just keep being yourself and ask whatever you like. It'll be a refreshing change. Nice. Oh my gosh, you, wait, nerdy horse girl, you, I, you have actual horses? That's awesome. I mean, uh, you have a horse girl in your name, so I'm... I, of obviously you were gonna have horses. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got the flower, but now I just need to find Galerius and give it to him. You know, I'm not entirely sure. Helping people is what I'm all How about. Did you end up here. Oh my gosh, Steve Rex! Hi, welcome. Sugar, we're glad you're here. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec, we just got raided. Hi, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome, raiders. Yes, we got we got a raid. Okay, where's my where's my My money don't <laughs> My alert raid. Welcome raiders. How are you doing? Welcome, Cat Rocks. Riding in my fear. You really have to see it. Steve Rex. Oh my gosh, wait, were you really playing um last train to Blue Moon Canyon? That's cool. What did you think about it? Oh wait, hold on. Uh, I should ask first if you've uh, you've uh, played the Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon before. <laughs> Is this your first time playing it, or you saw Tino and you? <laughs> Wait, there's a Tino Balducci in an SEG game. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Anyway, so welcome. I'm. I. You haven't. You didn't quite finish. Uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon is probably my in my top five Nancy Drew games. I'm sure you will enjoy it. I'm sure you will enjoy it. I'm not saying that because Tino is in there. It's it's genuinely a good Nancy Drew game. Anyway, so since you um you raided us. It's time for another Trivial Pursuit game. So, Steve, if you could please type in the chat exclamation point spin to spin the wheel so you can get oh, you, you, you can get the the trivia question category. 
Oh, wait, hold on. I've, maybe you are in third place. Hold on a sec. Maybe you are. I, I forgot. Blue is in first place. Vandy is in second. Um, maybe you are, you are in fourth place. You are in fourth place after Sparkly. And that's okay. <laughs> Still pretty new to Nancy Drew. That is so valid. That is so valid. I hope. Uh, I don't know how many Nancy Drew games you've played. Um, it's like, did you play a lot of them? Or is you still like, only played just a few of them? But I, I'm, I, I'm glad that you're enjoying the Nancy Drew games. They're really quite fun. But anyway, do exclamation point spin to spin the wheel. Alright. So... Uh, what we have here is each time someone raids, we have like a trivial pursuit where, um, where, okay, so you, we got yellow, so uh, it's a question, a news alert question. So I will read a question related to news and everybody can participate. Uh, the first person to get the answer right in the stream chat gets a point and features on our leaderboard Helping over here all and oh my god ah! oh my gosh wait we just got raided another time oh my gosh M machine welcome jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. welcome how are you doing oh my yeah i'm getting I, I'm getting raided here and there. Six feet two in a compact. Welcome, no machine. Welcome, Increase Blue. I was just oh my gosh. Okay, so for everybody, everybody here, just so you know, just to remind you, I have the boyfriend makeup community challenge going on right now. Uh, so basically, my birthday stream is gonna be next thursday like next week so in 10 days uh so and if i raise one hundred thousand channel points or one hundred thousand pop pennies then i will be doing fisher's makeup on stream so uh if you want to see that consider giving your pop pennies or your or, or your channel points the cause Oh my gosh, Rashi, thank you so much for donating. Pop and to the calls. We've reached now 90, 90k. Oh my gosh, Veronica, thank you so much for donating 542 Pop and to the cause. There you go. We, we are now at 90k. Oh, welcome, life begins at 8 bit. You want to see the makeup challenge happen? Texan Spaniard, thank you so much for donating 3,586 pop pennies. Oh, oh my gosh. Steve Rex, thank you so much for donating 470 pop pennies to the cause. So we now are at 92%. Only 8% more. Uh, only 8% only more and then we're we're locked it in uh, i'm going to do my boyfriend's makeup on stream uh it's gonna happen on thursday at, uh it's the 25th from 7 p.m eastern time <laughs> so uh, and i'm going to turn 30 years old so if you want to you know have uh, have a good time and uh, celebrate my birthday i will be here on the 25th it's a thursday from 7 p.m eastern time so anyway we were we were doing the trivial pursuit okay so the first person to get the question the answer correct in the stream chat anybody can participate you feel free to google i don't have any rules against google all right so here's the question what company successfully launched Falcon 9, the first reusable rocket in 2017? I repeat, 
What company successfully launched Falcon 9, the first reusable rocket in 2017? I was going to say 16. <laughs> SpaceX. C congratulations, Veronica. You got it. So that's another point for V Neptune. There you go. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, your turn, machine. Uh, since you rate it, it, you also get to spin the wheel. So, uh, destroy all machines. If you could please type exclamation point spin to spin the wheel and get another trivial question. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Neptune is a father. Oh my gosh. Wait, we got another yellow. So that's another newsletter, news, uh, news alert question. All right. Okay, so here we go. What late night TV host ruffled then candidate Donald Trump's hair during the 2016 presidential campaign? I repeat, what late night TV host ruffled then candidate donald trump's hair during the 2016 presidential campaign it was jimmy fallon it was jimmy fallon texas spaniard got it i i never saw that i don't want to see it i'm not even searching for it uh, Texas Spaniard, was it, is it, have you ever got a point before? I don't see you, so I'm going to add you on the leaderboard. Uh, I hope I, I hope I typed it right. There you go, I added you in. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Um, I, oh, I know of a late show late night host who uh who kept making fun of of his hair and calling him a orang outang but but i didn't know i i didn't see anybody like ruffle his hair that's okay the man is trash the man is trash however it is it, it's very rude to ruffle someone's hair like that it's it's still very rude Dang it. <laughs> you were so close, Blue. You were so close. <laughs> but anyway, so welcome, everybody. Welcome, um, Raiders. Uh, let me introduce myself. Well, there's a better, there's a better, a better message to, to, you know, introduce myself. But hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. There's a better... There's a better clip to introduce me. Myself. Well, hello there, whores and skinks. Welcome to my channel. Let me introduce myself. I'm the gorgeous, exquisite, talented, amazing, grandiose, well, good night, unique, elite, out. inspiring, charming, clever, alluring, dazzling, oh, wiggle, mesmerizing, wiggle. fierce, <laughs> magnificent, stunning, beautiful, never the same, and most importantly, humble Tina Balducci. Nancy Drew, never heard of her. I am the main character now. Oh if you don't gosh. follow me already, go ahead and click the follow button. Why? Because I'm that bitch. <laughs> there you go. That's my, that's my uh, introduction. Yeah, most importantly, definitely, most importantly... This it's like my number one, tr number one quality, humility. <laughs> so we were playing, um, we were playing the um, the Forgotten City. Uh, I got most of my 
frustrations about historical inaccuracy when it comes to ancient Rome out of the way so if you, so you came in just in time i i i got all the red out of the way okay i'm not gonna i'm not gonna d say anything more about historical inaccuracy okay so you're gonna have all a good time karen you say and nothing about that name seemed odd to you uh Um, it's an older name, but not uncommon from where I'm from. Older. I see. Hmm. I wonder if... No. Come on, speed it up. I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken with any of the others about how they arrived here too? I really think you should. Go around and ask them what they remember, and see if you notice any patterns. Uh, you're being a little bit coy. No, I know. I just don't want to see what happened to Livia happen to you too. Uh, what happened to Livia? Up until a few weeks ago, she was a perfectly productive member of our little community, darning clothes and cutting hair. She was always so chatty, always seeking out newcomers and asking them where they were from and how they wound up here. And then, about a month ago, she suddenly changed. She withdrew, stopped working and became despondent, started muttering to herself. Galerius and I visited her to see how we could help. But she just looked at us with this haunted stare called us bloodless shadows and told us we were ignorant of some pattern look it could be unrelated perhaps she simply fell ill or as galerius suggested the weight of the golden rule was too much for her but there is a small chance that she learned something saw a pattern nobody else saw and that it broke her i just don't want to see that happen to you so be careful, will you? Ooh. Um. I may have already noticed the pattern. You have. Then what is it? Uh, some people mentioned a river. Yes, I understand. Many of our friends were carried here by a river current. What else? Uh. An encounter with a stranger on the riverbank. Mm, yes, I also had such an encounter. What else? Uh, uh, memory lapses. That's true. I know I wasn't entirely sure how I wound up here. It's as I feared. I think I understand what poor Livia has been going through. You mentioned earlier you met a young woman in the forest named Karen. Yes. Oh, she's probably behind it. I see. And was this Karen by any chance wearing a hood? She was wearing a hoodie? How could you have known that? Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. All right. But don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Tap E to follow your guide. Um, I'm tapping E, but nothing's working. All right. in the baths there's something you need to see for yourself okay go right ahead what we weren't in the baths oh my gosh we weren't in the baths what then why did you go in that building oh my god game you're, you're killing me you're killing me. Follow me. Go. 
we're, we're gonna go into the baths. Goes into the building that is not the baths. Follow me. We're going to the baths. Are you really though? Are you really going to the baths? I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh, I hate that when that happens. Da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh. Why does she have to go all the way all the way to the other side? Okay. Oh hey, this is the ladder. They really did try to escape this place with the ladder. Oh whoop. Alright, you're here. You were asking how I knew the young woman you met by the river was wearing a hood. Here. Look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. If only we could see. Oh, what a marvelous lamp. But do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river in a forest to find a hooded figure with a coin. It's just as you described it. Only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. It was C-H-A-R-O-N. Oh! Karen. My God! Oh my gosh! The river that separates the land of the living from the land of the dead. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that. I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's... Karen. There are a bunch of old stories about the gods punishing people by making them... What's the goal of this game? Okay, oh, I'm gonna wait until they finish talking. At least you're not stuck in the underworld like they all were. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so, so sorry. I take it you know what this means. We're in the underworld? interesting interesting okay what what is the goal of this game um basically we are trapped in this in this uh in this world underground where it's it, there is what we call a golden rule so basically it's it's a, it's a city under like very much hidden and through a portal I'm, I'm not i'm not sure like the technicalities and everything and so it looks everything is looks like it's ancient rome and there is this golden rule basically if you uh it's like basically a utopian city however if someone breaks the golden rule so like let's say steals or assaults someone or you know D uh, something like that then everybody gets turned into gold like into golden statue so uh so i just arrive and when when uh someone whenever someone breaks the golden rule then i run to the portal to restart the day all over again I'm basically trapped in this loop and I have to escape this place. Um, and how did I pick the name Tina Balducci? I, um, honestly though, honestly, uh, it was just a word on play. Um, um, but to be fair though, to be fair, I relate a little bit to Tina Balducci uh, in a way that I am very overly confident, but at the same time, I'm very useless. <laughs> I'm a very useless person. So there you go. <laughs> I'm afraid so. 
It's all starting to make sense. All these people whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us that the Golden Rule is the work of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions, so... I'll try to answer them if I can. It's a very good, it's a very good uh, game. I highly recommend it. It's, but it is very uh, story heavy. There's a lot of dialogue, but like it's, okay. So I know Nancy Drew is dialogue heavy, but this is dialogue heavy. So just be prepared, but it's a very good game and I would highly recommend it. Oh my gosh, Steve, I'm going to go check out the VOD. I, I, I'm honored. I feel honored. <laughs> to be fair, I don't usually stream um, on Tuesday and Thursdays. To, to this week is very, uh, is very uh, special because I have the week off. So this is why I'm I'm streaming on Tuesday and Thursday, but usually I I stream on Monday and Wednesday usually. But yeah, I just I I just vibe with Tino's like overconfidence, but also like well not bad, not being good at what you at what you're doing. Find the part where Tino showed up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That was my first thought too. In the old stories, the underworld was where the souls So but were like where are to you live. in the game? But it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying if they were particularly fearless. So I'm afraid I don't know. Mostly three were similar times. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. I have it's not it's not it's, okay so it's this is not uh it's it's not me like uh gloating or you know boosting myself up it, i i have a lot of streamer friends and the sad thing about it is that i missed a lot of these streams a lot of my friends streams because we mostly stream around the same time I also stream like f like four times a week, so yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> oh, you're actually you you're actually very close to the end. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from here. If you were Roman or even Greek, you would know these stories. Each of them well, I I mean I know about Karen, but Plato. Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involved the souls of the dead meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of a river. It was said that he'd helped the new arrival cross only if they could pay him with a coin, obol. an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouths. Charon's obol, we called it. Of course, an obol was a kind of Greek coin because we inherited this knowledge from the Greeks. The Romans, the Romans think that they are the shit, but they took so much stuff from the Greeks. It's so, it's so funny to me. Like they think that they're, they think that they are like, just like the, the biggest shit in the entire, uh, in the entire world. Like we're, we are the blueprint. But no, no, you are absolutely not. Five days a week? I thought, oh my gosh, I talked about this earlier, about how, um, about how I know some people who streams five days a week, but I could never, I could never, I would get tired so quick, so easily. Uh, but to be fair, the people who would stream like five days a week, they usually stream for like only a couple of hours. 
but I stream, I tend to stream like for five, six hours. So imagine if I stream five, six hours, like five times a, a, a week, I, I would die. I would die. Took their girls and renamed them. Yes, uh, uh, like uh, Pluto, um, um, Neptune, um, Minerva, shit like that. I don't know. And the worst is that, so they are supposedly uh, Romans, right? But this, the whole time, this entire game, they've been calling their gods by the Greek names instead of the Roman names. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, are you Romans? Yes or not? Did I, like, just, if you're gonna take this, the gods from the Greeks, you might as well use their, their Roman names. <laughs> to be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood. And Equitia said, uh, non-binary rights. Equitia said, trans rights. And Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. But whatever form this stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort, and their name always began with a K sound. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Three to four hours, five times a day is still a lot. It's still a lot, but who am I, who, who am I to, to, <laughs> to say that? As if, like, if you count... If you do five hours, let's say five hours times four, that's 20 hours. But like if you do, let's say three times five, that's 15. So I still, I still stream more than you do. Or let's say four hours times five, 20. So we, bas we, we basically end up like streaming the same amount of hours anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I I I'm full of I I yeah yeah who am I to say anything really? Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river, but that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? In our case, it seems Charon didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. That might explain why we wound up here, but so many others did not. Ooh. No. I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's ramblings. But I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. You're planning to cutting back to four nights a week soon. Now that you've hit affiliate, you can afford to uh, be more consistent while streaming a, a little bit less. That is so valid. That is so valid. So you wait. You you've hit f affiliate not long ago. Congratulations. I uh, I don't even remember when I hit f affiliate. I don't even remember. I wish that they. I wished that. That they they had this thing this date somewhere where you can go and be like ah this is when I hit affiliate. <laughs> you have a day job. Me too. I, I think I've had. I think. I, I I was streaming for a while and I didn't realize what affiliate was. I was just streaming just just like that. I had no intentions of being affiliate. I I didn't even know what affiliate was until I started going into other people's streams and I saw these different stuff and I'm like, "How did you get that?" And then I saw, "Hey, wait a minute. I have to become affiliate. How do we do that?" And then I went to check and it was like, "Oh, wait." I can actually do that, and so I turned affiliate. That's how, that's how it happened. I think I had it for a while. I just had to activate it. 
you hand drew some emotes this weekend for it? Oh my gosh, the, the, the little Rex. I think, are you like, is it because you're a dinosaur fan or a, a Rex fan? Tyrannosaurus fan. Now that we know where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it. If we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity. We don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head-on, or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. Uh, I like confronting a god. I like that idea. <laughs> Oh, as a teenager, oh my gosh, okay. No big dino connection. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it, it, it'd be like that. There are some other people, I asked them where... For example, Tenchuar. I asked him, wait, where did you get that, that name from? Is it... The Tauntaun from from St Star Wars, and he was like, "No, that's it's just it's just a username I've had since I was a teen." <laughs> It'd be like that. Uh, can't we just escape the way we it's came? It's a in? reasonable question, but the problem is, this place is fairly well designed to keep us here. There's no way to climb up the shaft, and even if you could build a ladder big enough. Just trying it would break the golden rule. We know that, thanks to the writings left behind by those who've tried. Um... I know this is... Oh, Hades? All Romans try to avoid saying it, and the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. You may refer to him as Pluto, if you wish, but you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Oh yeah, they do. I heard that the uh, the the Romans or the Greeks avoided to uh, to say the name of the god of the underworld as much as they can. I forgot about that. That's nice. That's nice. I, on the other hand, my emotes are all over the place. Like, I don't have a theme for my emotes. Uh, I, my most, my most, like, uh, popular emotes are this, this one. That's my most popular emote. And it, it has nothing to do with me, with Tina Balducci. It's just an emote of Bibble. Wait, hold on, nerdy horse girl. Hold on right here, right there. What book? You can't just drop an info like that and not share with us the title of the book. It Was it published? Oh, we do have a Tina emote over here. Here you go. <laughs> it's not published yet, but you're hoping December. I love it! Oh my gosh! Yo, when I tell you I am a big, big uh, fan of anything mytho mythology mythology i can't talk so 
especially Greek mythology. Uh, the Romans are, it's fine. I mean, it's pretty much taken. I have like this, uh, this segment. Um, I have this segment where once a month, I, I do like a little 40 minute to one hour lecture on a mythology from somewhere in the world. Uh, last month I did a segment on the, the great Indian epics. So the Ramayana and the Mahabharata. And this month I did a, a segment, a lecture on nature in uh, Native American mythology. So, so yeah, I love, I love learning about mythology. I love learning about history, especially ancient civilizations. It's a very, very cool to learn. Uh, Hades and Persephone, it's a very cool tale. Bibo is the best? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, if you haven't watched a single Barbie movie, go watch a Barbie movie and then come back, okay? In here, it, in here it's all about Barbie and Bibo. <laughs> Shh, is everyone so blunt where you're from? Oh. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the Golden Rule, and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld. Maybe we'll do that one. But he was a demigod. Forgive my candor, but you are no Hercules. Oh yeah, I know someone who is really not into mythology and I'm like, can we cannot be friends. <laughs> we cannot be friends. Uh, I have a few tricks up I see. I'll admit, you do seem different to anyone I've ever met. And even that lamp of yours looks like something Prometheus might have stolen from the gods. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. But first, you'd need an audience with you know who, and for that, you'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here. By the way, Nordy, nerdy horse girl, I didn't know you were I an author. The answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It oh. looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our divine keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing to receive an audience again. Ooh. You're gonna call it a night? Oh, thank you so much for coming in, Steve Rex. I appreciate that. And thank you again for for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, you sharing your community with me. <laughs> Am I all into all types of history and whatnot? Um, I will say... Okay, so I know a lot about Rome. But you would be surprised if, if, what if I told you that Rome is the least interesting? <laughs> I'm the least interested in Roman, ancient Rome and, and mythol Roman mythology. <laughs> I, I mean, for, <laughs> it's, it might be hard to imagine because of how, uh, how much knowledge I have. But it is true. I would rather, I, I I would prefer learning about Native American mythology or uh, Asian, East Asian, Southeast Asian, South Asian. Um, uh, 
um, or oh, oh my gosh, or African or African mythology or or Greek mythology. You know, I would rather learn about these, but it doesn't mean that I am not interested in Roman. It's just there are better. There's better <laughs> to learn. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, thank you so much, Rex. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Have a good night. So yeah, um, when it comes to history, not mythology, but history itself, um, I would say I I I like any types of history, learning history, but. American history would have to be the most boring one to learn. <laughs> and I usually prefer to to learn um you know everyday stuff, what did the everyday people do? Learning about wars and what politicians did and whatnot. It's it's mostly boring for me. Yeah. But also so you're not like a you're not like a um This is your first book. So you're not like an author like a professional author. Is what I'm saying. It's the towering stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head that stands before the great temple. A dedication to the god of this place. You'll find them all over Rome. But of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way here too. Although how is a mystery. However, this one is unusual. In that each of the four sides is decorated in a different style. Roman, Greek, Egyptian. And another I don't recognize. That means you'll need to recover four different plaques. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and a fourth, a mystery plaque. Oh my gosh. You won't believe me this, but I, I just realized that my webcam has been... My webcam... My webcam was covering a good portion of my... Of the... <laughs> Of the dialogue. I hate it when it happens. I hate it when it happens. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I I never uh I never to be honest I've never read any any books that are like a an adaptation a like an a modern adaptation of of any myths like I've never I, I I'll be honest I'm not the most avid reader especially when it comes to when it comes to uh, fi uh, not fiction, uh, well, sto novels, novels. I'm not the, the best at keeping up or at reading stuff. I'm much more of a watching Netflix. <laughs> I'm much more of a watching stuff, but um, but yeah, it's it, it's really cool that I I see so many books where there's like a little. Uh, where people are coming up with like all these different adaptations um, on myths and all of that just you just have to to do it in a way still it try to do it in a way that is not disrespectful towards that culture because what I find about a lot of these books is that uh, is that it's it's easy to like read the book and be like and treat it in a way that it's like oh um um 
Oh, like oh, I hope that this uh, this uh, god gets with this goddess. Like they are so cute together, and all the they treated them like um, like fictional characters, and it's it's easy to forget that that there are still people out here that still it's still their real religion. It's still the religion. It's still a deities for them. It's still very sacred to them. So you have to keep in mind that when you write it or when you read them um, in order to not not do anything disrespectful towards them because this is how uh, this is this th I see a, a, a things like uh, like that a lot where people are talking like that and it's like they forget they forget that this is some an aspect uh, um it's it's a religion it's a real religion and if someone made a book about let's say god and jesus and all of that and he's like doing all this stuff and the, and people are like oh yes he's uh, like uh, i i hope he gets with the, this character and all of that uh the christians would get very very mad about it they'll feel like their religion was really disrespected uh, uh, so it's very easy to to see like okay gotta be careful about that sort of thing good question to answer that we first need to ask who would have defaced the obelisk in the first place it would have had the god's name engraved into it so it may be that whoever desecrated it wanted that name to be forgotten and there's only one group of people i know of who might want to do that there's a cult in Rome that often argued there is only one true god. Theirs, of course. They've been known to start fires, as well as deface religious oh. monuments whose existence challenged their beliefs. I know who they are. You, I'd go looking for them. Of course, where's Rufius? Been since the fire last year, so finding them. I know where to find one. Rufius, come Roma, here. They come here, you Rufius. Shrine, somewhere in the city. If you could find that, you might be able to recover the Roman plaque. Uh... I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search with the local Greek fellow, Georgius. His store is in the forum. Uh... Wait, Dooley? George? Why Dooley, though? Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, will be able to tell us. Unfortunately, he disappeared weeks ago. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So, perhaps you could talk to her. Or just take a look in his room. I'm afraid you're on your own with that one. But perhaps finding the other three will illuminate the way. Oh yeah, well, to be fair, this is not something that can be helped, like, there are already, I mean, it's, uh, it's, the, it's, it's already something that is seen as normal, there's really nothing you can redo about it, as a, like, when it comes to society, but as a person, you can, uh, you can choose to be mindful, you know, so this is the best you could do about it. Uh, but I wouldn't worry too much about about others, really. Like I, uh, it's um, in the, at this stage in life, it's like you know what, you know what. When it's like, when it's uh, far from the heart and it's far from the mind, it's it's easy, you know, to treat this nonchalantly. Tell me about more about escaping with the help of Prose Proserpina. Or a guy. As I mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Proserpina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is, those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic deeds, so they should be taken with a grain of salt. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said. The god of the underworld abducted oh, her against her will, forcing her into marriage. 
It's... There you go, sis. If she's gonna tell us, she's gonna tell us. The story, no. We, we've been told time and time again. So she might be willing to, go, to work against him to help us? If the stories are true, then I suppose so. The problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your travels? I hear the female statues whispering to me every now and then. Truly? And you're only bringing this up now? The classic again, story. <laughs> I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you tell me more? Is it the same voice? What kinds of thing does it say? It's the... If you've played Nancy Drew, um... Um... Nancy Drew, The Labyrinth of Lies, it's the play. It's It happens in Greece. And there's a play. It's based on the story of Persephone. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Uh, there is this uh, comic, uh, uh, this web comic. What is it called again? It's very, very popular. So it was so popular that I think it got picked up for to into making a TV show, right? Um, it, it's like the gods, uh, of, and uh, and there is Persephone, Hades, Zeus, stuff like that. They are made to like, they are like characters, and and it's basically Persephone and Hades. Lore Olympics, yeah, Lore Olympics. It got so big that I think it was it's turning into a TV show, right? I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, I love the I I love Lore Olympics. I but I I stopped. I hate I hate having to wait. I hate having to wait. So once I reach the end and I have to wait until next week for the next chapter, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do something else, and then I forget about it. That it's there. You go. It's done. It's done. I I'm not going back to it. Netflix picked it up. Netflix is gonna ruin it. I'm just saying. Perhaps she is a benevolent spirit. Or perhaps. Hmm. Perhaps you're hearing the voice of Persephone herself. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Tell me, has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? Uh, wait against the current, her tears run through the city, she waits where the water flows. That is strange. There are no rivers here. Hmm. Let me think on that. Well, as far as I can tell, water flows into the city from an aqueduct, into one of two cisterns, the upper cistern. If that's the current she's talking about, then perhaps you need to get into the upper cistern somehow. I vaguely recall wondering what was in there, but the door at the back of the great temple is locked up tight. You might be able to get a key from the magistrate, but if that doesn't work, perhaps you can find another way in. Let me know if you find anything in there. Um, I'm not worried about Netflix making it kid friendly, but like, it, it doesn't matter whether they make it kid friendly or not netflix will find a way to fuck it up i don't trust netflix <laughs> all right when it comes to adaptations I not discussing this with anyone the best we can do for them is to let them remain oblivious for as long as possible as for livia it seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time perhaps it would comfort her to know she's not alone uh I'll have a chat with Olivia first. In any case, Olivia time first. is of the essence, so you'd best begin. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may not need her with Persephone on your side. Nice.
Yeah, Netflix has made so many adaptations and fucked it up like so many times. The Netflix? I don't know, like it was how many... They, they made a few anime adaptations um, and people hated it. I don't remember. Death Note, they, people hated Death Note. And there's a, another one that they made recently. Um, I don't, I don't remember. It was also based on another anime, and people hated it as well. Uh, they are making a Dragon Age series. I looked at the trailer. It looked nothing like Dragon Age. It's like, how is this Dragon Age exactly? How is this supposed to be Dragon Age? Enough, nothing about that is says Dragon Age at all. Um. Oh boy. Figure out. Uh, it seems everyone in the city is going to die because of one person. Do, oh my gosh, there's, I'm, I guess I suspect all of them. All storm plaques. Okay. I might as well just give some of that to Rufius, but like. Let's be real, I hate Rufius. Oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going through here. I'm gonna go through here. I hate Rufius, but what can you what can we what can we say? Galerius? Horatius? Oh. Looking a bit troubled there. Still no sign of Centella. And I haven't slept in like three weeks. I don't think you want your stuff. From what I hear, nobody saw uh, anyway, uh, Barry, what what is is that you supposed to worry about. Why is he so control? mean to me? Yeah, well, I keep thinking. Willow, but if there is something I can and do. And this will work? What if she's out there oh, somewhere? Thank suffering, God. Waiting to be found. Finally, some Sounds relief. Like you're torturing yourself. This Leave is what I've been gods. paying for. Try to relax. Get some rest. Maybe God hasn't Tomorrow's abandoned me after all. Thank you. You're right. I've been in a lot of pain lately. The rheumatism. These cursed statues always watching in the crisis of faith for you to smile much. on your sister started messing with my head <sighs> this is exactly what i needed to set it straight again i owe you one okay can you uh can you stop threatening virgil virgil no idea what you're talking about <sighs> look i i haven't been at my best Lately. I know that. It's the rheumatism. It starts with constant pain in all your joints. Then the pain starts to mess with your head. Makes you angry. Mean. I know that's not an excuse for how I acted. But it's the truth. But with the willow bark, I'm already starting to feel like myself again. And I know I said I owe you one. So, I'll leave him alone from now on. It's not as if I was ever going to hurt him anyway. I was just lashing out. I'm going to go and clean up the graffiti. Just. Forget this ever happened, will you? Damn. Okay. Galerius. I saw you slide down that rope before. Very impressive. And strange too, since that device you use is exactly the same as one I've been working on for weeks. 
Oh, of course. It's because I already gave it to you in a previous time loop, isn't it? Shh. Anyway, I'm oh sorry to ask, but is there any chance you'd be willing to do me? Uh. Well, I've been. I already have it. I already have an identical flower. Really? You already have it? I picked it up in a previous loop, I suppose. It's gonna take me a while to get my head around that. This is going to make her so happy. Equitia, I mean. Now I just have to figure out how to give it to her. What I really want to do is walk up to her, give her the flower, and confess I've been madly in love with her since the moment we met. But on the other hand, I can't shake the feeling that the consequences could be... terrible. You mean, aside from her execution? You see, Equitia is a Vestal Priestess, meaning she's taken a vow of chastity, the breaking of which would be an extremely serious affront to the gods and a capital offense. Even if she was just suspected of being unchaste, it could lead to her execution. Unchaste Vestals get buried alive. Oh, That's so rough. That's rough, measure. buddy. But at the same time, she's just so kind and graceful. And I feel so much love for her that if I don't tell her, it'll burn a hole in my chest. I don't know what to do. What do you think? What would you do? Um... Uh, uh, I think you should tell her. Hmm. Now that I hear you say that out loud, I hear how crazy it is. I think maybe I need to be a bit more cautious. What I need is a go-between. Someone <laughs> tell her how I feel and find out how she feels without risking her life. What do you say? Do you think you could help me one more time? Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not good at this. Wonderful. Now, all I need you to do is give her the flower and tell her it's from a secret admirer. Tell her I'll keep my distance, and that I just want her to know that she's loved. That's sweet. I'll do it. Oh, thank you. Come back as quick as you can and tell me what she says. I'll, I'll do it. Anything for Galerius. Cerberus lifts his triple head. And lets out his threefold braying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? You'll scare away my customers. They follow their trades, imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world. So this place accepts all the souls, but it does not notice the crowds that come. I figured it out. I know where we are. Say it. Speak its name. Then it is true. I was right. You were... I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I, I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowd. So this was come. where it came from. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. 
And still others incur punishment. I hope I have done it justice. And now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden Aww. from my shoulders. Oh, thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Aww. Alright. Okay, so it's almost midnight. Which means that I am... I, I should go to sleep. I don't want to go to sleep, but I have to. If this game is too good. I want to continue. Hold on, where's the quit button? This game is way too good. Dang it. I want to continue, but it's late. I've been streaming for almost six hours now. It's not, it's, it's, it's not good. <laughs> anyway, let me, let me see here. Who is streaming right now? Probably nobody. I'm the only bitch who's still, who's still, who is uh, still awake? Oh my gosh, Manik Lynx is streaming. Oh, I, fo I forgot. We are Tuesday. We are Tuesday. Is this one multiple parts? I don't know. I might like... Okay, so usually I... Usually I just do the... Not the whole VOD, but like I keep it all in one... In one block and put it on youtube but i've been streaming for so so long that i might uh breaking it to two parts tonight just two separate videos <laughs> i'm yeah because it it's a six hour video is a lot or five more more like five hours and 30 minutes that's a long video i don't know or I might just keep it one part. I don't uh, honestly like I don't know if anybody cares. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to I'm going to rain manic links. This is it's the first time I I uh, raid links, right? I would I'm uh, interested to see what what he thinks about Nancy Jumin I Salem because that's what he's that's what he's uh chapters multiple parts chapters i have no idea i have no idea i'm s okay i was saying that i'm curious about what he thinks about about midnight salem so we're gonna go see him but anyway thank you so much everybody who's still who stuck with me and lurked uh just or or not just hang down with me i really appreciate that i had a really fun time i am going to continue on thursday i'm gonna go to you on thursday i'm not gonna stream tomorrow i need a break <laughs> so thank you so much everybody uh don't forget to to give a follow to manic links if you haven't already they are a very cool streamer they see the streamer and uh feel free to do this red rain message or don't it's up to you anyway have a good night y'all Hey there, Tita. How's it going? How did your game go? I I, I saw you were trying a uh, new. Is this?